Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome. This is your best source for the newest Atari 2600 games. And uh, make sure you're watching in 60 frames a second. And welcome back to Erlen. Hey, it's been... Look, it's Erlen, Yeah, man, everyone. it's been, what, three months, four months, a quarter of a year? <laughs> yeah, it's a long time. So they let you out. <laughs> yeah, they did, man. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Yeah, despite my mental cognitive insanity and psychosis, they yep. somehow let me out. <laughs> <laughs> Gave you a, a weekend pass at least. Right? Yeah, you know, to come and do the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there be, you, had, you, you had good behavior, and they let you off on good behavior. Yeah. You didn't attack anyone, and now you're out, and it's great. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, so Tanya's been filling in. This doing whole time. A ridiculous amount of shows. Twice a week. <laughs> yeah, she's got very used to it. What a fucking trooper as well. <laughs> I don't think there's that many people who would just just take go. over. Yeah, she oh, went from yeah. once every two weeks to twice a week. And it was <laughs> quite a jump. Yeah. So, hey, everybody's happy you're back. Yay. Yeah. So today we're going to be playing... Uh, that's the wrong script. Uh, we're uh -oh. going to be playing five games. Uh, Whoa. As well as, right off the top, an exclusive work in progress update. Always love the exclusives. Uh, Unholy by Leonardo Santiago from Brazil. Oh, wow. And then we're going to be playing three uh, interesting games. I want to hear about my demise. This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll have to type out a story. Uh, no, we didn't uh, We didn't say anything about that. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. And he's in the chat. There's the developer. So if you have any questions about it, he can answer them. Um, and the next three games are from a homebrew school. Oh, a homebrew school? Yes. Is this is, dude. I fucking don't know what's going on. I haven't <laughs> been here. I haven't watched any shows. I, this like, is new. I stumbled in off the street once <laughs> hey again. Hey guys, uh, what's happening? Yeah, <laughs> got my coffee. I gotta kind of like shake off the thing. It feels weird shake even off to the be back. Webs. Yeah, yeah, to be back in the seat as well. I, I already feel like I used to not feel self conscious at all when I was doing the show every week, and now I'm feeling a little pang of like, oh, there's a camera. I gotta oh get God. used to this whole deal there's again. People watching yeah those 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 names on the they're screen they're typing stuff they're saying <laughs> things oh man yeah uh a homebrew school and i just fig found this out like recently that there was a school that was teaching how to make atari 2600 wow. homebrew games but we'll get into that when Is we get this... to the games okay yeah i got a million yep. fucking questions of course <laughs> we got time for them and then we're gonna uh so we have three of those games and we're going to be playing Chase It at the End by uh, Alan W. Smith. And I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers that support the show down the right down, down the that leg. side. And you can see, oh. Alan, they're scrolling now because oh, there's too many. Man. We have, again, the most ever this show subscribing to the channel. I, it's I, unbelievable. I could be wrong, but I feel like on one level, COVID, I mean, it's been terrible for the yes, world. Yes. But I mean, I think people need media. And it's amazing that you've been able to keep going and, and keep this going because you have, like, all the systems in place. Like, yeah. imagine if you had, like, a studio or something oh, you were renting. Oh, it would be possible. No, because you see all those shows that you watch on, say, YouTube or even broadcast news. And they're all doing it from home now. And off their, I haven't like, changed a thing. And off their fucking <laughs> laptop monitors, yeah. too. It's amazing because you have... Their phones, too. Like, newscasters using their phones. But I didn't have to change a thing except, you know, the... The people who were on the show couldn't come, but Tanya lives here, so uh, she just yeah. subbed in, and there's just no change. Easy transition. What is the homebrew stream about homebrews That's in right. a lot you, of ways? You know, yeah, you're I doing it yourself. I didn't watch any of the show. I guess I, I just... I don't watch the shows because I'm on them, and I, I experience them, but... Yeah, I probably could. I probably should have at least done one. <laughs> Checked in, you know. Yeah. Or did I? That's the oh. no. I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers, Al Nefer, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Catalox, CD-W, Charles and Chuck, wow. Cold Heat W007, uh, Dianoid, Dan ABC, Glenn Main, Grey Defender, Ground Trooper, John Anitro, Johnny WC23, Jupiter Storm 17, Carl G. Croco 2600, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari 1969, Metal Lunar, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Packard VG, RC70, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweets or Cat Legs, Socrates 0603, Spartan 501, Spiceware, D Train 37, and Welsh Mini 99, Thunkus, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD. And that's a wow. big list. 
That is a new, that is a <laughs> staggering of amount of people. It I, is. I'm, that I'm so the happy to, to hear that that's what's been going on and that this has been continuing to go and, and not building just and thriving. And, yeah. and we have Socrates in there. You know, we yeah. can have some platonic dialogues <laughs> exactly. about the Republic. I think we need that right now <laughs> to examine the. <laughs> yes, we got to look inward and could, examine who we are and where we are. Consider the structure of society. And, <laughs> and you can support the show and subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe and make sure you follow and like on all the things, Twitch and YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and you'll be updated once in a while. Um, and I want to thank everybody for watching today live because this go show does uh, air live on Twitch. Dan AVC, Spartan581, Leo C... or Leo C... Santi say that carl g splendid nut metal atari 1969 pack rat vg i mean the list is very similar yeah to, uh ricardo pym uh danny vc thrust 26 and everybody else who is lurking as yeah well. it was beautiful that also the core base has has stuck with you as well oh yeah and you can see Twitch Prime. Also, I saw some emojis in the chat of cats. Like, oh, this is wild. Yep. What I've has made, happened? I've made some cat emojis <laughs> of Pixel and Atari. That's a legit good, too. Those, those yeah, look yeah, like... Professionally those. done. Wow. Yeah, I got them done a long time ago for something else, but hey, why not use them for this? I love the way you say my nickname. I love it. Say it again. <laughs> Leo Cisanti. <laughs> wow, it actually is lyrical in the way in which Leo you say Cisanti. it. Leo Cisanti. Yep. There we go. I did say it right. Um, mail news and feedback. Erlen's back. Yeah, we got checks. <laughs> Number one. Spoilers. Surprise. And for coming back, here's your bribe. Here's your present. Oh my god. What do we have for you? Make sure I get the right size out here. Is this the right one? Let's see. Does that have a size on it? Oh, I failed. That's okay. No, there's <laughs> no failure. There you go. Holy shit. I didn't even know this is a thing that's happening. Dude, look at this shit. We got cats, cats on, it. on it as well. Yep, we got both those little cat symbols Hold on Hold on, it. I'm going to just throw yes. the shirt on. Go for it. Just give me a second here. So those are t-shirts that uh, you guys can get as well. Um, they are from... Oh my goodness. What? They're T T Public. That's it. Let's see if I can find the actual link for it. There we go. And if you like uh, like the t-shirts or the pillow or there's mugs, mugs with cats on them. Zero page homebrew. See, you see the mugs? Oh, shit. Look at the mugs. Listen, and there's a fucking pillow as well. Yeah. Oh, my God. Looks like we got some ZPH nice. going on. That's a good fit, James. Is it the medium? I'm sure oh, after yeah. you wash it once, it'll get a, a tiny no. bit. It's smaller. you know you know what drives me fucking crazy is yeah. that mediums and smalls are not all the same. No, they're not. It is impossible. Sometimes a small is like it feels like I need to go back into <laughs> not puberty, yeah. and then sometimes a small is like the baggiest thing. Sometimes a medium is like a large. So no, this is a great fit, man. Yeah, I, I call myself a medium. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> I can. I could fit either, and, and there's no standards. No, there's no idea. Like a small and a, a medium could be anything. Can't do cats, Dan ABC. He's is sub ended. So those emojis mm. are only for subscribers. So Oh, this is a, a smart operation. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a Twitch thing. It makes sense. Just though. Twitch one day said, Hey, you can do emojis and I'm like Okay, we're putting cats on there. It's a smart yeah. infrastructure for all this. People are sort of, sort of figuring out this whole stream thing, really. Uh, Retro Gaming Denmark, welcome. I think I still think the show should branch out and cover Atari 8-bit. 2600 only is so narrow. We do play 8-bit uh, from time to time. Yeah. And we will be playing some 8-bit coming up because I have ordered a keyboard wow. for my Atari 8-bit. So we're going to be playing some coming up, like kind of a best of. I'm going to look for some great homebrew stuff. But 2600 is my first love and my favorite console. Yeah. So that's why I stick with it. And it's, and it's such a vibrant community. Um, and, and, and there's so many homebrews coming out. It's not a bad suggestion, though, because, I mean, if you're oh, doing yeah. two shows a week for how many years now? I mean, It's a... still full. I still fill it up with homebrew. <laughs> it's crazy. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I, we play, we're going to be playing a 7800 game coming up in a show um we've played 5200 games 
So we do we do play alternate uh, different platforms. Maybe alternating shows, one for twenty six hundred, one for other. I'd fall behind if I did alternating shows. Like, yeah, I would literally fall behind. There's too much homebrew for twenty six hundred. Yeah, and also lots of you know and producing is also takes a bit of time too. It's nice to have in oh, some ways. Oh my the... god! And I'm very knowledgeable. I'm knowledgeable. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dangerous I'm, sentence. Always, I'm, I'm the expert. I'm a fucking genius. At <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm knowledgeable in the scene of 2600. I follow it very closely. Yeah. And 8-bit is actually really hard to follow because the scene is huge in Poland. Wow. And I can't read a thing. And it, the translate on, is James, difficult. Learn some Polish, man. I know. It's, I really should know, buckle down. You, you really got to step up this producing game. Get into game, it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> it's not like you have enough work. <laughs> <laughs> Polish, just add that to the list. I mean, it's easy. It's so close to English. Oh, I mean, yeah. It's, it's just a couple letters different and then just some Zs and stuff. It's no big deal. Uh, for a translate, I, I suggest Deeple. Now, the tr Google Translate I've been using, you translate the page, but then the links don't work. Oh, so shit. I'm like, okay, I can see the page, but then I have to navigate it in Polish, then bring back the page. So if Deepo works better, then that much that maybe I can use that. But I'm that'll be helpful. It's amazing though. I mean that there's such a demand for this stuff as well that people want yeah. Atari, eight bit, homebrew, <laughs> all kinds of things. Hey, D train. Yeah. Um, and eight bit is a very good scene because most of it is released for free. Yeah. Because they kind of they almost have to. Um, they usually program for disc, floppy disc, um, and not cartridge. So, and floppy disc, there's absolutely no protection. It's going to go out anyway. Yeah. Um, so it's a, a very open. Um, a lot of the other scenes are not as open as 2600 and 8-bit. 8-bit is like the most open, I think. 2600 is very close behind. There's some protectiveness because uh, I can put them on cartridge. Um, and like Coleco and Intellivision, it's like... Pfft, yeah. It's locked down. They hardly ever release binaries. It's it's very difficult to to do a show on that unless you're like deep in already with the yeah. with the people. Yeah. Yeah, um, and I started on N64 to give you some idea of my world. I mean, yeah. that was that's what a retro game is to me, which is... My least favorite <laughs> the, Nintendo system. The weirdest system as well, that fucking controller with, oh, like, yeah. who who signed off on three handles? It's not bad. You can do this. <laughs> you can hold it like a, a an aiming shooting. Like, it, it's weird at first, but after you go, okay, there's variety. Yeah. It, 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 it works. works. And then all the games, when I look back on them to go play, they're, they're the camera system. It was some oh, of the first 3D that's stuff. That's the problem. It was first gen 3D, and they're like, we don't know. Mm. Yeah, and <laughs> this kind of works. And when I look at speedrunners playing those games, half of their skill set is navigating how a camera works. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, we played Pit Cat the last episode um it's a uh, puzzle um puzzle game but it's really really great puzzle game but it was acting a bit weird mm. on the system and i'm just gonna put it in the background and show you something very interesting that happened with it oh, i'm excited um so let me get that screen up and we're just gonna kind of let it run in the background uh Oh, did you get the oh. system fixed? Uh, oh, yeah, you, you've been along, away a long, long time. Yeah, man, it's quarter of a year. I've been out. When did you get the system fixed? Why is... Probably ages ago. Fixed. Also, a new controller. <laughs> yeah, I've been here in the Atari box. Where's the Atari box? Oh, that's a sound I want to oh, hear again. There we go. That's why. Atari Fox Plus. Whoa, that's a new Atari box sound. Oh, you haven't been here for the Atari? No. It's the new version of the Atari box. I was here during the dark ages. I remember <laughs> when this shit like, fell down, and then we were trying to plug in a different oh. one, and it was a terrible signal, and we ended oh. up going on emulator. And... Okay, well, we'll catch you up during while this is doing its thing. Um, okay. So we played Pit Cat. We tried to play Pit Cat. <laughs> it's in the delete folder. <laughs> <laughs> it's just my stuff that I test with. Okay, everybody, did you notice that that went ex right away to the game and not didn't do that blip, blip, and it comes back? Um, that's because 
he programmed that the screen is active immediately. And this is the first and only game that I've really noticed that actually does this. So developers pay attention and <laughs> because digital systems need the screen information happening at all times or else it's going to drop out. And this, this is the first time that I've ever seen a game do that. So I'm just going to put it on to screen two. And we're going to let it sit there. And we're going to listen to the music. And at around the two minute mark, something will happen. It's very interesting. And I've been going back and forth this week, um, working with the developer. Yeah. Trying to figure out what is happening. Uh, it's probably too loud. Let me just turn it down because we're not really listening to it right now. Um, so he writes, hi, James. Looking forward to catch the stream after work uh, for the next show. Um, I'll be working so I couldn't see it live. Checked your video of PitCat slowly glitching away. Fascinating. It's like modern art for Atari geeks. I've seen similar effects during development when the stack pointer gets out of sequence with the music and the crazy rolling. It does seem that the code is executing okay, it's just getting the wrong RAM values. It could be the Riot chip. I'm still working through the reduction of screen roll during loading on PitCat. Anything that's called a riot chip, you know you're, <laughs> you know you're fucking in for something. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, okay, so this system right here, it's an S Video modded Atari Twenty Six Hundred. This is from Al Yaruso from Atari wow, Age. He, wow. he loaned me his Atari. What a homie! My yeah, God, it's incredible. The community is just so supportive, and my system is currently being repaired by Nathan Strupp. In California, dude, what if so? Fucking... People are really stepping up, and they're like, "We love the show, and we want it to be the best it can be." And he's fixed it. It's fixed <laughs> Jesus. now. Yeah, my RGB system is now 100% fixed, and it's gonna, it's coming back. That's incredible. Yeah. And he's posted the journey of fixing it in a blog form on the Atari Age forums, and we've been going through it on the show step by step. Aaron's been out of the loop, hasn't he? Yeah. And this, uh, we put this together. This was a kit uh, joystick. Wow. And we ordered it and put it together. And the reason I bought it is that there's a switch on the back that changes the up direction to a second button. Because on platformers, on the 26th... Oh, so we hit that. Oh. Of course it's working. Okay, we'll leave it a little bit longer. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, the, uh, the music is audibly weird after it crashes but this be, might be because it's been off and cold for like this i haven't turned it on today really yet um but it should it's like the it's like the old it joke that the <laughs> yes. second the fucking it guy comes around it works it was and then the second he it. leaves it stops working and then you phone him again comes back i don't and know how yeah. i'm sure everyone's had that experience and it's same with cars too you bring your car in it's like it's making this pinging knocking noise and it's like it's fine they can't hear it happens all the time it's because usually with cars it's like well it's because you've been driving it around yeah. for a while and you went straight from home to the repair place right in the morning before work and you you brought it there and they can't hear it because it hasn't been running and then they say well leave it here with us for a couple of days and we'll drive it around and it's like oh my god and then they're gonna find five other things <laughs> that need to be changed yeah and, you know we'll just do a power wash of the inside <laughs> which will cost an, it's just an extra yeah. <laughs> Uh, there is coffee. It could be Tanya. <laughs> it's true. Come on, Erling. You don't <laughs> yeah. watch the show and you're on, not on it? For shame. <laughs> these guys watch the show when they're not on it. <laughs> it's true, man. <laughs> you, you're, uh, yeah, you're learning about my habits, friends. No, oh, music sounds good. So the Music what, sounds great. Uh, this game is astounding what it does. Uh, we played a 7800 game called Millie and Molly, which is actually the sa has the same root game that they're both ported from as this one which is like pitman or cat trap cat yeah. trap in europe and japan and pitman in north america and it's a it's a puzzle puzzle game where you solve um different uh you know you have to push boulders and dig away things and things fall yeah and uh the million molly was astounding like really really good and then out of nowhere <laughs> well Two years ago, I messaged this guy saying, hey, your game looks awesome. 
and then silence for two years. Oh. And then he comes to me and says, hey, I got a game for you. <laughs> and he sends it to me and I'm like, oh my God, this is astounding on the 2600. And it really is. Even I mean, just I the breeze... design looks amazing. Yeah, he he's he's done it so it's alternating, um, alternating uh, players, characters, but he hasn't done flicker to make it all flickery, which you could and do alternating frames he's just left it so it's alternating lines and staggered you can see the bottom oh i see row. that's an elegant solution yeah it, it is um and it's it looks fine without the flashing so he didn't oh, yeah. need to add the flashing back in oh and i see that hey because yeah. they're on slightly offset but it's actually kind of like it looks like a cool brick layer kind of did, did yeah. something you it's know brick design early show welcome back early it is yeah. a early show um, so I've been developing my own game. Oh, shit. Yes, I've been planning for a long yeah. time to do well, my I own mean, game. I mean, we've we've discussed this over, like, lunch many times. Yeah. And, um, so I've been progressing. I've actually been programming, and I've got to a point where I've got something stable on the screen. The, the play field is working now. Um, Have you found that it's given you um, a kind of appreciation for the work that other people are doing? Or do you like in, any insights into sort of the... Because this, is this your first game that you programmed? Or oh, no, is this, no, no, no. First on the 2600. Yeah. But I've done other games, like mostly way back in the day on Commodore. Yeah. And then I made some uh, during high school on um, Pascal, I think it was. So it was on a PC. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it doesn't give me appreciation because I already knew how mm -hmm. much work goes into programming these games. Um, but it's given me more insight into how to make them and how they work and, you know, the the, the, pro, the actual programming and assembly. Because I'm doing an assembly program. So how to make them and the commands. And I thought it would be a lot more complicated in terms of, oh, I have to do like 50 commands because it's such a, a simple, like, uh, low-level language yeah um but no it's it's very very elegant it's it's incredible how quickly you can get things done in assembly uh what kind of games did you make back in, oh simple like snake snake games or you know collect the things on the screen i made like demo games where you would just draw things over and over and it would just move them move things around i still have my games on my Commodore 64 on disc and I need to transfer them over. And um, Darcy and I would um, trade back and forth these kind of demos that we would make because there was a demo maker program and you could animate in it. So I have all those as well. I'll have to show them on the show. That would be it. Point. You got to do a show and tell of all that. I'd love yeah. to see all that stuff. Yeah. I am um, at one point I tried to learn C++ in school um, yeah. and my main goal was I was l in love with like these RPGs and I wanted to build a bot that could play and farm stuff and level me up while I'm not <laughs> That's a home. great idea. And so yeah. I remember trying to learn how to do it, and the reality was, was it, it's so advanced because you have to really do a lot of stuff. And I managed, yeah. I made it about maybe 30% in, and then the summer happened, and I got distracted, and, and I downloaded uh. And I was like, well, I can download other people's bots, and then and then I right. realized everyone was getting banned because of it, and I was like, you know <laughs> oh, what? Oh, yeah. This isn't worth it, but I remember that was my main motivator because I felt like I was so behind because everyone was, there was a period of time when people were just botting, like, unbelievable. Yeah, and you have to stay on their level or else you will be left behind. I mean, in essence, the, the company needs to yeah. ban the bots. Oh, Otherwise, yeah. it's an unlevel playing field. Okay, so when I was playing this game initially on the show and doing some tests, around the 8 to 10 minute mark was when it was glitching out. Hey, buddy. Still sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Of course, it's gonna. It's the IT work problem, man. But it's the opposite. This time, it's working when you want it not to hey, work. Pixel, come up here. Say hi. It's not. Uh, this is so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Hi. Hey, buddy. I don't know if you guys can see. No, he's just out of. Oh, he's on the edge of the camera view. Yeah, his feet are there. Um, we'll give this to. <laughs> we'll give this to ten and a half minutes. And then you'll just have to believe me. Oh, hey, buddy. Because the, the minute number would kind of vibrate and be crazy. The music would be crazy. 
but it would still be playing the music. And the screen, after the music went crazy, you start moving around the screen. And the map on the screen would be crazy. Like, it would be all glitchy. Um, but you could still move up the ladder. I was about to fucking say, we gotta hit up some... Emojis. <laughs> some emojis of the cat in chat. And Spartan was already He's on it. on it. As I had, that was my thought, too. That's the thing now. I love is it. Is when the cats come into the camera, everybody puts the appropriate cat in the chat. Oh, God, I love that Pixel has been immortalized through emojis. <laughs> oh, my and God. And t-shirts and mugs. Oh, that's and, so true. And not and pillows. James, not this, this pillow. is legitimately an awesome shirt, man. Yeah, and people are really liking it. Well, I, I'm the design worked out well because it's, like it's big. It's, like, not detailed. So. Well, what's fun is I can wear it around in the real world, and people will not know. They'll just yeah. look at it and go, that's a great shirt. It's got colors. It's got some cats They'll on it. They'll be like, what's ZPH? And I'll be like, well. <laughs> well if you don't know, then <laughs> I don't. <laughs> it's, it's too it's bad. It's kind of like there's Ninja, and then there's... <laughs> oh, Modula 2, yes. Um, I did learn some Modula 2, but yeah, there's... Ninja on Twitch. Well, he's not on Twitch right now. He's in transition. He's but in, you, know. you know the streamers. Uh, yeah, there's there's Twitch. There's, there's, there's nin Ninja, and then there's the Shroud, ZP, and then there's H. <laughs> but it's underground. It's very underground. Yeah, you know, it's we're a mix of very <laughs> popular, but also like very. Handsome. Okay, we're at ten and a half. I'm gonna move around, see if it's glitching. But of course yeah. it's not, because I want to show it off. No, no, it's it's working. Wow, perfectly. this is animation's incredible. Oh yeah, it's unbelievable. So you, you know, you do a little, maybe it'll go chat while I'm playing. I think that time was not your best time. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm gonna, I gotta, I gotta I'm go on a limb and work see. towards. That's not a PB. <laughs> no. So you can pick the, uh, one of the two characters. Wow. Um, look at this, check out the select screen. Like, look at oh, that. That's incredible. It's unbelievable. And also, uh, you know, quite a few great levels too. Yeah. Um, so you kick rocks around, and you dig. I love that in this world, the cat is the hero, not the... Yes, and they're monsters, and you have to go get the monsters. Kick those monsters. And I don't know what's going on there, but it seems to consume the humans, which is totally what happens. <laughs> wow, and the kicking motion, too? Damn. Oh, the sound... The animation, when you win, it flies off the screen. I think he eats There's the human timing. beings. Um, and there's codes that to, so you can continue the game later. Oh, that's so good. Oops. Oops. And it harkens back to the era where you had like nine cue cards for all your things. You had oh, to like yeah. write them all down. And it, and it remembers which levels you've completed. Puts oh, it in blue. It's just astounding. Also, the great like t like music stings depending on what's going on too. Different ones. Oh yeah. Um, and I just Atari Vox Plus. Whoa. Atari Vox Plus. Atari. <laughs> I m I remember the old Atari Vox. <laughs> That's done. It's like an old lover. But I just want to show everybody. Now we Hal Nine Thousand. I want to show everybody again how this loads. Now watch. Okay. Now it's crashing, yeah. <laughs> so I can't show you how it looks. So this is what happens when it crashes. I wish I could have showed you the crash. It won't load up again. Wow. Until the 2600 cools down. So we're it trying to figure that out. It needs a timeout is what it needs. Yeah, know? it does. It's had too many uh, <laughs> pop only rocks. On, <laughs> only on that system. It works on this Either. and every single other person in the Atari Age forums it works on. So Al. That, no. that, <laughs> it, point, it points to Al's system, like there's a bad chip in there or something. Anyway, that's that. I wish you guys could have seen it glitch because it's really crazy looking. Um, back to the news. Uh, Night Guy in Low Res World, Castle Days um, 7800 version Whoa. Um, has been released. Um, so you guys can play the first 16 levels. That's a great um, game. It is. And he's been porting it to... Uh, he's been porting a lot of his games to like 7800 and also uh, NES too. Oh, so he's been working shit. like crazy because that would be fun to play those on <laughs> NES. Yeah, and I'm, they look really good because they have to be upgraded. Graphics that's a controller and stuff. I'm a big fan of. That's one that you put yeah. in your hands and you're like, yeah, that NES controller. But I think that's the that's the nostalgia button for sure. I mean, they're they're the people who 
you know, invented the D-pad. Yeah. Really. Well, you could say it's in television, but uh, like they invented it on their uh, Game and Watches because that's yeah. where it was first appeared. That was but they the, popularized it on the NES. Yeah, the first one I owned was the 64, but I, the first game I ever played was NES. Um, that's yeah. the... Um, okay, so we're going to play the first game. Uh, we've delayed long enough. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're fucking, <laughs> messed around. fucking four hours into the show. Yeah, they're used to it. Not, I changed my shirt. <laughs> you know, some riveting content. <laughs> <laughs> they're talking about programming. I so love they're, it. They're keeping themselves busy. <laughs> Lol, Erlen, not his personal best. Yeah. Uh, so the first game is Unholy. We have an exclusive work in progress update. We did play this on the show Amazing. a month ago on June 6th. And he reached out to me, said, hey, I've got an update. You wanted to have it on the show? An exclusive? I said, we got hell you. yeah, we got you. We'll show it off for you. We'll send it out to the masses. Uh, with uh, This was first posted May 2nd, 2020, when he first started talking about it. Um, and this is his first game. That he's ever made. Wow. This is made in the 32K DPC uh, Plus. He says the demo is attached. Um, so, and this coffee's fully kicked in now. This is great. Oh wow! There we go. I can try out the new joystick. So there we go. Oh wow. Okay, wait. So the you, top date 707. Top date, cool. And then what was this one? Unholy. That's right. Yep. So actually, let me put the. And this guy right here. I'm just remembering correctly. Uh, yes, that is correct. Do you want me to hit it or do you want to? Uh, I would do it now. Yeah. Bam. Ooh, we gotta... Oh, that one went right into it, too. Good job. Oh, shit. Unholy. LCS. 2020. Wow, Very go... nice title screen. He says, wait for it. Who's that? Oh, it's some fucking lightning. Getting... What? What was there? Did you see it? No. Wait for it. I'm getting some flashbacks, James. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's a fucking skull. Ooh, skull. Yep. Mm. Very, very cool. With demon horns as yep. well. That's a nice some, effect. Some subliminal... Uh... Oh, that's really, really nice. So I'm just going to reiterate the game story here. Um, the game story is chosen to after I listened to Dance of Death from Iron Maiden and remembered a legend from my city where a woman dances with the devil. So I changed the story a little bit and put some character names to improve it. A young lady, Isabella Lorraine, gave a carnival party in her old mansion fucking number one mistake man yeah <laughs> if you're in a mansion don't invite car carnies to it no. my god on a christian reserved date <laughs> jesus disrespect so many mistakes disrespecting her parents and the traditions <sighs> at the party an uninvited person daniel evander von icarus lutox or just devil uh, <laughs> fucking flying into the sun started to seduce her and invited her to dance she fall, fell in love and gave him a kiss but after the kiss a lightning hit the mansion killing almost every guest <laughs> oh jesus and then the devil took the lady's body a young monk gabriel sanchi uh from a monastery near by uh was designated to save the survivors and get the young lady back from evil Whoa, this is a classic plot right here. Oh, yeah. So the mission is rescue four survivors and find Isabella to get her back. Isabella! Enjoy. So let's jump into it. We're playing on the monster joystick here. Yep. Damn. Whoa! So there you are. I'm You're a the monk. monk. And when we played this, the, the, the graphics are beautiful. It's got Whoa. the windows, and Damn, I believe man. the lightning is still... Yeah, there's the lightning <sighs> through the windows. Ooh. It's nice. Uh, there's keys you have to get at the bottom. There's your life. How many lives you have, I think. That's how many people have, you have left to get. I think you have four Whoa, left okay. To get. Whoa, shit. Do I just run away? Or, okay, oh, I'm killing you guys. Okay, that's Okay, a pentagram is always a bad sign. These fucking carnies, man. So shoot that pot. I there's gotta some... shoot it? Cool. Yeah. Sometimes there's things in it. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. So this is a doorway? Yeah, an I orange gotta, door. I'm gonna go to the right. It's, is this like a, a pit, do you think? Yeah. Okay, this is bad news. Okay, got it. So, some updates. He says, here are the main Ooh. updates since the last game was shown a month ago. Whoa. First okay. of all, oh, lots of variety of uh, monsters. Very, very cool. Lots wow. of scimitar. Oh, my God. A scimitar? Got ourselves some nautical weapons. First of all, many bugs were fixed, and the game was tested on real hardware, but I know there's some minor issues on very specific situations Whoa, that I'm lava. trying to fix. lava. God damn it. Wow. Like Holy. blood lava. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I gotta, like, dodge my lava move. Ah, okay. Oh, my God. Holy. Oh, it's safe on the right-hand side. Okay, that's okay. good news. There's a door up there that you can go through. Oh, 
Hey, I got some life. Oh. Not that I needed it. Okay, I'm just sort of going to the right. I feel like I should probably like maybe go through some of these doors, but I figured that I'd try to like check. Yeah, last time it's kind of on levels. Oh. So you can get to an end of a level and then you go to a do door and then you're on a next so, kind of level. So I've kind of ignored two doors so far. Well, the first one's locked. It was oh, orange. okay. I mean, you didn't try it, but that's how it is. Ooh, and that's probably... So you'd have to go around and get that key. That's like a purple, purple key. I'm getting some exorcist vibes. I'm getting some... <laughs> what is it? Name of the Father vibes? Yeah, no. I haven't seen that one. War of the Roses vibes. That's, that's the one I was thinking of. We got a knight, ghost knight. Always a mistake to invite the carnies over on the date. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, wow. Look Holy at that. Holy shit. Okay. How are you going to get around that? Uh, I don't think you can. Oh, maybe along the top. I'm thinking this is the oh, way. Oh, yeah, you'll be fine. Oh. Wow. Uh, the title screen is finished. He says, wait for the random lightning, Lightning, which we did. Oh, definitely did. Uh, some colors were changed, like the floor and some walls, and somebody said the palette is very nice. It's a very nice palette. Azure six five. We got some cats losing cats, their minds. Upstairs. Cats are going crazy. Just so excited. They're like, "Hey, you guys are still here. What's going on?" Whoa. Okay, that guy. Azure says this game is spooky. Oh Metal, my god. Metal man. Atari says nice update. Okay, so I hit the end of the journey. Okay, so That's now great. you're gonna have to start with some doors. I'm gonna go through this door, um, just cause. And I think it's like logical. Whoa. Like, when you Whoa, go through a door. Okay, dude. Ah. Okay, this is not good. This is bad news. Oh, you can walk this over This is terrible it. news. Oh, okay. I think it's probably it's just an effect. It's WIP stuff. Uh, or it hurts you, but doesn't kill you, maybe. Ah, uh, I see. I don't. So far, I don't think I've been hurt yet. Like, my no. health is full, and I probably should have been hurt. You've been, you've been good with the fire butt. Yeah. Oh, nice little trident there. Um, there's some graphical improvements. The holes and things in the floor are trying to simulate perspective. And the pa passages are now thicker. Oh my god, see, yeah, this ghost uh, is fucking with me, man. Casper! Uh, the, oh those god. various Demonic holes eyes. no longer exist. Because there were some screens with, like, holes all over the place. And it was, just took a long time to navigate through. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a chill thing to simplify it. It already yeah. feels very large. Oh, oh it, it healed you a bit. Okay, oh, so my health is on the right. The health's on the right, lives on the left. I, I see, I was looking on the... People on the, to rescue. So I have been getting hurt. I looked, a little bit. I kind of looked, I was, for some reason I was dumb and thought that like my health was on the left, not the right. Rooms that like makes this way scare me. Sense. It's like, what's going to come? Oh, <laughs> it's yeah. It's going to open up a pit or something, but it didn't. Man, it should have been a sign for Isabella when her carney started painting a pentagram on the fucking <laughs> <It's part laughs> time. foyer. Let's paint the okay, pentagram. Okay, that's not alarming <laughs> at all. Nope. Oh, so dude, far. a key. Is that the first key? Yes. And that's kind of an orange oh, that's, key? Dude, that, that one... Was that the first door? I think that was. That very much looked like one of those uh, Castlevania heads that will, like, extend oh. out. Oh, yeah, it did. Those, like... Those, those like kind of things that... Oh, another pentagram. Man, that would have been sign number one for Isabella. <laughs> yeah, the why things you are wanna, going why wrong. Why are you constantly painting pentagrams, Carney? It's just... Shh, shh, shh. It's the game has background okay. music. Oh, I don't really... Can't really hear. Yeah, we need a little... Ah, yeah. Class, it's very... Classical music. I don't know what the song name is. What but... is it? Um, uh, do, 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 do. Fucking something serenade. Moonlight serenade. Uh, is that it? You might be. I could be totally wrong, friends. Oh, an eyeball. If you guys know. But yeah, it's a famous classical hook. Yeah. It's a haunting hook. Perfect. And it's, it's very slow. Very well done. Whoa, okay. Um, and it's turned off by the color and black and white switch, so if you hate okay, that. Oh, so we got nice. It. Yeah, some health. Oh, so you can walk across those. Okay. Yeah, that's good. good news. This is... What kind of door is that? No, no passage yet. This is my camouflage door. <laughs> that's right. Nobody can see me. Hey. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's cool. Yeah. So, obviously, I need to collect some more keys. It does. It's a, it is a relief, a bit of a relief when I find, like... Because it feels like a big game. I'm trying to, like figure out so. like where i'm at whoa uh moonlight sonata intro that's the one is did i get it right yep, you did oh good leo man. c santis thanks homie confirms having good background music and, and sound effects uh, at the same time is challenging yeah because you'd have to if you're using both channels you'd have to cut one out if you're just using the basics of yeah. the 2600 often you want to use both channels to make music sound better 
I, and I've noticed in various platforms. Oh, uh, shit. Different consoles. I just dived into the uh, pentagram. Oh, that does hurt you? It did hurt me a bit. Oh, That's good. That's a good sign. Oh, okay, so this is like another... Nothing there. Um... Hey, Alnifer. Uh, let's see. The game. The enemies have lives. They don't die with a single shot anymore. That's good. Yes, that is good. Because it gives you a bit of a challenge. Well, yeah. So yeah. far, I'm, I'm doing okay. I don't feel too much risk, but um, I haven't encountered any foes that are beyond the powers of. What's they've, our monk's name? Oh, they've hit you. A, um, What's they've that? hit you a couple times. Yeah. The monk's name is uh, Gabriel uh, Sanchi. Yeah, Gabe's got my back. Gabe's doing pretty well. <laughs> yeah, he's holding up. Gabe's You're down a little bit, it. but. And what not bad. um religious background? I mean, I feel like he's wearing a yarmulke. Well, or... the game's from Brazil, so it'd be um. But it'd be Catholic. But I don't know likely. if a yarmulke is necessarily. Oh, yeah, that's his hair. Oh, that's his hair. But it looks like a a bowl cut. A monk, yeah. Monk oh, cut. that's right. Right. Oh yeah, and don't and, and don't monks also like um, have a bald spot in the back of their head to allow God to reach them? I think that's something oh, that, that I remember. What it's about? Again, I remember most of this from movies like, <laughs> that, some, which are probably not completely necessarily accurate. Necessarily perfect. Yeah, so those can hurt you when you walk across them, but not kill you. Okay, you so I think so I'm pretty. No. Oh, so far I'm no. doing okay. Okay, so what I learned is that this doorway, the one at the very end... Wow, see, this is quite the dangerous place to find yourself. It is, because you don't have the room. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, see, I don't know what to do in this instance, because... Oh! Oh, Dan, Ev Dan AVC just subscribed. Dude, I just died for the Thank first time. Thank you so much, Gabe! Dan. Gabe! So I have it on a flashing on the screen now when somebody subscribes. Oh, that's amazing. And it makes a sound. Thank you so much, Dan ABC. This is a slick operation, James. Good producer. Trying to make it a little bit slicker, a little bit more interactive, a little bit more fun. Give people props when they. Uh, I recommend inviting some carnies and painting some pentagrams. <laughs> yeah, that was nothing can up. go wrong. <laughs> nothing at all. Um, there are new enemies, and they have some, di and they have different amount of lives. So some of them are harder than others. Yeah, I need my life back, man. I lost my life from I got I just panicked it was a bad move yeah it was a panic move if I would have just taken the hits I would have been fine but I I got scared and threw myself down the hole so Which I think uh, leads to hell itself probably so you're oh, gonna try that first strikes. door right With yeah the that's that's the plan I think yeah. um and it's good to know that that last one see that those are the dangerous times when you're stuck by a thing Oh, you haven't done this door. No, either. I'm gonna do this door because I'm kind of like slowly. You know what I mean? Like navigate. Yeah, I just getting a sense of the land. I think I'm before just... you do the door. Yeah. Okay, oh, that's good end. that I did it. Yeah. Because now you don't oh, have to go. Oh shit. Yeah, you have to. That oh, is I gotta one kill of these guys first. Every... Yeah, and they oh, respawn. Oh, that's awesome. I like that design. That I, way you I can't do just. I and don't. Oh yeah, I, I guess. I mean, it's good because you can't just cheese it. Che cheese it. No, 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 no. But it's also like, oh, where did they come from? <laughs> in in a logical kind of sense. Good point. But many, many, many games do that. So true. You go back in a room, you have to defeat the also, whole room hell again. is relentless, James. That's right. Hell doesn't stop. Uh, new dangers have been created. Some rooms have unholy symbols made of blood on the floor, which can hurt you if you stay in contact oh, with it. It's That's what happened. Blood. Those are the guests, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're out of control. Oh, so this is the key door that I got. Yeah. Okay, so I'm understanding this, the lay of this land a bit. So I suspect that that one that I went to and explored might be the next key or the key after. We'll, yeah. we'll have to see. So this was the, this is the first room, right? Yeah. Okay. So did you go all the way to the left? I'll check and see. Just, we, yeah, just, just being systematic with this. Because that, that means you've cleared all this whole floor. If you go all the way to the left. Oh, oh there Dude, you go. Okay. That's what you need. Exploration. What happens roar. in the lava room? Did it hurt him? Um, um in it's sort of intermittent. I noticed some lava seems to hurt me and some doesn't. Yeah, I um, think and he says if you stay on it it hurts you. Ah, so. that makes sense. So if you just cross it quickly, it's probably not too And hard. that's blood. This isn't lava. I think. That's blood, yeah. Oh. Gabe. There you go. <sighs> okay, so this is now a new level? Yeah. Okay. Or a new part of the level you couldn't access whoa, before. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Purple. Yeah. Okay, I see this is some lava. And then this is a new key. I'm going to go get myself. Yeah. 
You don't have a purple key. Gabe. So the key didn't disappear. You still have it, so you can still go through the orange doors. That's wonderful news. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta the explore end? this side. Yeah. yeah. So I think there's like eight rooms sense. on per level. Leo C. Santi says you must stay on the lava for a moment, but it's blood. <laughs> but it's blood. Lava. Oh. It's unholy blood. Yep. Well, it's in a pentagram. Yeah, man. That gives it special. Gotta look out for those fucking like, this is This is incredible. The mood, the, the music, the lightning flash, the sounds. Um, it reminds me a lot of... Um, this is my shit, man. I love this kind of stuff. Spies in the Night. I'm um, a... Like, my shit is like HP Lovecraft. Right. Like, I love, like... Like I, I, I love like Diablo. Like that's my yeah. shit. This this tone is great for me. Yeah. And I love mythology a lot. When you so. weave it in and with real world stuff with actual games. Yeah. And, and like, we got so some like, gypsies and it's all it's all good stuff. I like I just oh, you see the screen, the screen was screen jumping show. a bit. Yeah, no. he's still working on getting but like, those. I think that's something that people really underestimate for games is the tone yes. makes really helps. And it's that's the sort of art of this stuff. It like, is. I would not have loved Diablo as much if it didn't have that gothic, dark feel. And then the yeah. later games were not as awesome because they kind of abandoned that for more of a World of Warcraft, cartoony, uh, like, eh, you know, not Yeah, you got to think about the world your game inhabits and to make that as rich as possible. Oh, hey, the first homie. guy. So you're not going to go through that door, but you're going to explore the whole level Yeah, that's first. my feeling. That is, makes sense. Is to sort of get a sense of... Just what if there's a key over there? Well, right? yeah, and I just feel like if I start going through every door, I don't know if You'll I'm... you get lost. Yeah, yeah, I'm just... It just seems better to get a sense of the, of the land. Uh, when you go into a room, you can't go ahead or back until you kill all the enemies. It increases the difficulty and forces the players to kill the creature. And some... Ooh, was that a thing? What's that? Bloop? Was that a... Sounds like your phone? Maybe? No, I don't got my phone with me. Oh. I just... Oh, it's probably something. the laptop but doing blood. something. Oh. Blood. 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 And uh, so that is the end of the updates. Oh! A what? key in a box? Wow. What? That seems random because you would have killed, you would have opened that before. I feel lucky. This is where my, you know what? That's some one of my one of my on. beliefs is reward the player for being explorative. Yep. And you're doing that, man. Thank yep. you. I appreciate that quite a bit. That is that is really good. So there's some. Uh, Do you think that was because I cleared um the whole thing, or that was just could RNG? Be. It could be. It could be some just some RNG. Also, I like so far that the health, um, the new life has been fairly um, uh, not the most common. Oh, purple Ooh, key. Ah, see, I gotta just. Oh, you could exit that without killing everyone. Ah, that's. Oh, oh, see, this is this is the disaster though because I can't really like. Okay, see, this is better. <laughs> but see, like the challenge with something like that is I can't really like go down. I wonder if respawn points. If you are on a little shelf like that, and you died, like say I'm there, yeah, and you are near that guy, Ooh, you and you died, would you respawn outside of it, is like it, you just these did? Are good questions. I think that's probably what would happen, James. Yeah. That's my intuition. So sometimes you could skip over something and get to a place where you're not really supposed to be Ooh, yet. Ooh, speedrunners, look out! That's right. Found the warp. Yep, found our <laughs> found our uh, feature. Oh God, see, but also like definitely because it's good rewards you have to do it. Right? And and um, I think so. I think that um, the key that I have is either that's a purple one. Okay, so, so I have there a, was a purple and door. Then, and also I believe I got a, a brown one, which was the one that was the one that I that I couldn't oh, go through before. There was a brown door, so I can go through and do that. So I'm gonna check out and see like what this one is first. I mean, if I was. If the next time we play this when it's finished, we're going to have to do mapping. Yeah. Because it's already out of my control. I can't. I think I, I'm holding it fairly well in my yeah. head at the moment. I think we only have been on three levels, right? But it's because I've been fairly systematic. Yeah. And that's important. Not just go through every door and then <laughs> then you're on another level and then you haven't finished also, that I haven't, level. I haven't been destroying my brain with THC as much <laughs> as I normally do. So that's, that's helpful too. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Feels like I have superpowers sweat. these days. <laughs> Relative superpowers. <laughs> Memory man. <laughs> yes. 
I have the memory of an average man now. <laughs> I'm not debilitated by my own terrible decisions. So this is the new door you can go through. Yeah, now. I believe so, is my understanding. So. Yeah. Ooh, so now I'm in this. But you still w did have access to the brown door before, Yeah, too. which is which I have to go back to the very beginning for. Yeah. But I'm thinking that I'll go all the way down and then back up and then to that. That makes the most sense. So this appears to be, this is still back to the beginning. Yeah. What do you think about the game balancing? I think it's a bit generous. Maybe. Oh yeah, it's pretty easy. Yeah. Um, I have zero challenge at the moment. The only times I've died. You've died twice. But they're yeah. out of terrible decisions on my end. <laughs> if I were like really paying yeah. attention, you jumped off a cliff. Both definitely. times. Yeah. Like so far, the enemies haven't really been a challenge. However, it depends though because that one time I actually wasn't because I appeared in the middle yes. and I couldn't aim down and I had to sort of move move around. Yeah. And in all honesty, dying was almost. A, a, inevitable you probably. were going to probably anyway. i mean i could have tried to hold it together but yeah depending on where you're positioned it's a typical thing with the atari as well i find because you often can only shoot one direction yeah this is not contra <laughs> <laughs> no um which is i think no they're problem. a bit generous on the health oh yeah potions. definitely very generous so you could probably bring that down a bit. however not super generous with the lives i've only found one extra no. life so far so which is great to? news that doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, that's health, but I'm at full health. Must be a full. Yeah. Must be a full. The yellow one. Oh, so I don't, we'll see what this is. Try the pink door in that level. Ooh, pink door. I'm excited. Seen a pink door? I don't think we have seen a pink door. Wow. It's not your turn. You can't come on. It's Tanya's over there. <laughs> Running through the blood. <laughs> oh, I want to see a game where. You run through the blood and it leaves footsteps. Ooh. Totally possible. Very possible. And very eerie, man. Game. That would be. Oh, wow. There's a game mechanic you can put into a game. Some Somehow something to do with foot. Like you can attract mud into something. And you... There's an invisible creature that stalks you and can only see it by its footsteps. And then it cleans itself underwater. I bet and then somebody's you're done fucked. that. I oh. bet somebody's done that. Dun, 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 dun. That's right. <laughs> That's some nice game mechanics there. That's nice. I like this hole too. That's a nice design. This yeah. hole to hell. <laughs> yeah. So what have you been up to for oh, four months? Oh my god. Three and a half months. What, I, what have I been up to? Um, just, you know, I've been watching a lot of stuff. I've yeah. been hanging out and reading a lot. I've been writing a lot. I played a dangerous amount of Path of Exile, <laughs> um, which I was, wasn't going to play, but COVID happened, and they had right. this thing called Delirium League, uh -oh. which every time you played it, it would be like, it would be like you're in a nightmare and a dream, and, then, and you enter into a simulacrum, and I'm like, fuck, this is too real for me. <laughs> this is totally what's happening right now. You didn't see a pink door. No, no pink door. So now I'm officially lost. Um, okay. Well, we'll just run around for a bit then. Because we haven't been mapping, so it's been, it'll be very difficult. You do have three keys. I mean, you could go back to the brown door, but I don't, but I don't know I've where that is. I've only rescued one person, um, so I, I'm doing not, not terribly. Yeah. Um, Maybe we'll traverse this level. And oh, and I've been playing a lot more chess because we did the show. Oh. That was so much fun. Oh, we'll um, have to revisit that when um, Andrew Davey has finished yeah. almost or well, gotten really well, close. Well, because I was so stressed out for the show yeah. and I was practicing so much, I my whole my rating went up by like a couple, <laughs> like by like maybe like a hundred points. Wow! And I've been dominating the computer. It had to go up because I was just practicing so much. Because you know I don't normally play. Like I only do it casually. But I felt like because I was on the show, I needed to give it a proper go and yeah. I had to play quickly and all that stuff. So. Um, and then I started listening to lots and lots of chess lectures and it was keeping me good company But then you kind of OD like the problem with chess is it is like the same fucking thing every time well, it is. Which is fun because that's what makes the game really beautiful is the fact that it is like Well, it's the same thing. So you're you know what you're getting into. Yeah, you're oh, see I'm, it's the pits that kill you, man <laughs> um, But uh, but at the same time there, there does reach a point where you go like oh man I don't know how many more times I can you know, pawn to d4, you know? Yeah. You just need that a bit more. There. But it was an amazing motivator oh, for me mind. to sort of more deeply get into it. And, and, and also just really, one of the things that I was really learned about, which was neat, was just, um, uh, like this, uh, Grand Masters lectured one of the notes, which I thought was an interesting note about life is he said, typically what makes a great chess player is more people who don't make mistakes. 
It's like mm. often most there's a level that like really? and he's like really if you think about it he's like you will reach a, a, a actually a very high level of play if you just don't make mistakes he said because right. really a lot of the time he said chess is you're just sort of waiting out for the other person to make dumb moves and he said right. that like at that level yeah and he, but even he said even at a grandmaster level he's like I can beat most players because I just don't make mistakes. <laughs> And he's like, it's because, that easy. Because <laughs> he said eventually, because the thing is, is like, and he said, and, and that's playing it all the way through. And he said, but then the level above hey, that. something just did a blip, blip, blip. That must have been good. Um, and then and then the level above that is is like being an incredible player. Um, okay, oh, so. what was that noise though? Oh, I, did, think, hmm. I was just saying, you're awesome. <laughs> okay. We're probably going to wrap this up. Yeah, yeah. because uh, I don't know if I want to wander back through. And we thought we got the brown key, there. but we didn't because you couldn't go through No, I think door. I need to go back through. And yeah. uh, and also, I've only rescued one person. Man, Gabe. Has this quite, is just the demo. Dude, Gabe's got quite the fucking challenge ahead of him. He does. And yeah. Isabella. And also, kind of Isabella did this shit to herself. She, she had did, so every he's, chance. She's being pretty nice about it. It's like it. people painting pentagrams on the ground. She's <laughs> making out with the devil. Like... <laughs> I'm just saying that maybe Isabel deserves the fate that she got herself into. Oh, not to no. victim blame. It's not what I'm doing, but I'm just saying that like <laughs> Gabe is sacrificing all a lot. All the signs were there. Yeah. Working his ass off, and at a certain point, the blink was a bottle. Oh, you got a? Did you get a bottle? Oh, I must have entered into the screen oh, and immediately gotten a reward. Okay, that's what that was. Okay. Cool. Excellent. Because I mean, excellent game. Because, I mean, what is it? Zelda and Princess Peach? I mean, they feel like true victims. Right. They didn't really bring it on themselves. Isabella fucking <laughs> brought this on. Hello. Yeah, there's a cat. What are we looking at? 0707? Cool. I am victim blaming. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you are. But So, we're going to... Um, before we load it up, we're going to go through some information here. We're going to be playing three games... They're all done by students, Ooh. right? Programming students that took a course. Um, now, I was alerted to this whole thing, this student thing, this 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 teacher that teaches this course by a game we played a couple um, on June 7th. Is that the exact same day we played? That's so funny. Uh, yeah, it's the exact same day we played Unholy. Oh, shit. That's so funny. Some full circle stuff already. Um, we played Slime Atari Ball. And it was just two little slime dudes hitting a ball over a net. And it was pretty fun. Um, and and I was tr I was trying to find out who these programmers were. It's like, oh, well, are they an Atari age? Usually they announce like their names or they put up a, a website or they talk about their game somewhere, right? I couldn't find these people. Who were these people? And after some deep, deep searching... Um, I found their names associated with, how did I find it? I think somebody in the chats found it. I can't remember. But it was very strange. There were three names associated with it. Usually there's one. Sometimes there's two people, like somebody does the graphics or they split up the, the division of work. Um, but there's three names. That's super unusual. Um, so I found out that there was this, this programming course. Um, it, the course was called, uh, video game design and analysis class. Wow. Um, there's also one called special topics in game design and analysis. Special topics because I've worked at the university <laughs> means the lecturer gets to do whatever the fuck they want. That's <laughs> special what special topics. topics means. Special topics in any area is like, they're going to fucking do what they want. Right. And there's typically For free reign. Yeah. yeah. At least at SFU, they were always 300 level classes because first year uh, is very delineated. Second yeah. year as well. But third, fourth year is like eh, specialized. Yeah. Yes. Do whatever you want. Um, and also a course called Introduction to Computational Media. Um, which is a sophomore level course at Georgia Tech. So these are all... Um, Makes sense. And that's probably much yeah. more of a delineated... Um, so the... the f so all three games we're going to be playing is were made by students of Dr. Ian Bogost. Dude, um, Dr. Ian is my hero. <laughs> who taught the courses from at least 2005 to 2007. Wow. And after doing some research into Dr. Ian Bogost, who has a PhD... I found out he wrote this book. Ian. Ian Bogost. I have had this book forever. This is a really well-known book about program in the Atari 2600. And it's really interesting. 
and and got me interested in like, oh, I'm gonna make my. Are those own all game. of Ian's courses, or are those the? These are Ian's courses that these these uh, uh, students were taking, um, that he put together. So if you have not read this book, it is really inspirational. It doesn't like I don't think it teaches you how to program. Let's see. Like it doesn't per se teach you how to program, but it tells you a lot about a, how programming happens, and it goes over different games. And it's a great thing. I mean, if you want to learn how to program, you should program. And so when you yeah. lean, lean, in, lean into a book, it's like getting that history and the theory is. Uh, figured out why I wasn't getting notifications. Inadvertently disable notifications. Oh, how could you? How could you? It's okay. Um. So Ian uh, Bogost is uh, at the School of Le Literature, Media, and Communications. He's a professor at Georgia Tech, Georgia Institute of Technology. It says, uh, is, Ivan, is Ivan Allen College Distinguished Chair in Media Studies and Professor of Interactive Computing. He also holds an appointment in the Scheller College of Business. Uh, Bogost is also a contributing editor at The Atlantic. He's an author and an award-winning game designer. Wow. Um, and he has co-authored um, uh, 10 books, um, including the one I just held up. This is from 2008. Um, I think that was during his last year of the courses that he was teaching, because I can't find any information past 2007. So, um, so he also made the game, uh, the game called A Slow Year from 2010, and also a game called Guru Meditation that uses the Joy Board which is a balancing board that was put out for the Atari 7800. And there was one game put out for the 2600 to use that board called Mogul Maniac, Mo Mogul Maniac, which is a skiing game. Wow. So you got on this board and you kind of moved your character. It's basically a joystick, but on a board. Click, click, click. That's click. very cool. Yeah. Um, so we're going to take a look at a slow year, um, which is not on there. It's just a video we're going to take a look at. Oh, cool. Um, Man, it has been a slow year on some levels and a fast <laughs> year in others. Yes. I, it's unimaginable to think it's been three months because it feels like fucking nine years or like yesterday. I was on, like, that's, <laughs> how time, the other, right? that's how time feels these days, man. So this just led me down a rabbit hole. Oh, so he's just um, Captain Classic saying that the links to the individual games are sending to Wayback Machines and not... Atari age because they aren't on Atari age ah. and they aren't on a page Ooh. they're only archived in the Wayback Machine he's deleted these pages of these listings I fucking love this title a chat book of game poems for oh, Atari yeah. wow so God, he's really man. into the art dude Ian is my new hero um so let's take a first look first it was Gabe now it's Ian <laughs> at his video a slow, a slow year, year. All little keyframing, <laughs> little two forty p. Yeah, definitely two forty p. Or two forty i. Who knows? <laughs> oh, no such thing, but maybe. Oh yeah, there's two forty i. Four eighty i. So these are not really game games. They're more like, like things you do. You sip coffee, while the seasons change, while snow Whoa. falls and builds up outside. Um. <laughs> So it's a very... Dude, this is eerily strange. similar to my fucking COVID. So this is... <laughs> this, is <laughs> so this is like fall or spring. And the rains Most come. It's definitely fall, man. Spring. Oh, spring. Oh, I fucked it up. Of course. Winter <laughs> so to this spring. Is, this Ireland, is the one Jesus. where he won the award for. I mean... It's a video poem for sure, Yeah, man. it's more about the whole thing surrounding it rather than the game itself. And the circular nature of life. I mean, we just yeah. keep going around and around. Log floats by. I mean, that's a very nice log. That's a very Beautiful. cool thing. And Slow year. Game poems <laughs> by Ian, man. <laughs> so he won. He didn't doctor himself. He Even though oh. he has the doctor title, that's a very cool thing. Yeah. See, we won the Vanguard and Virtuoso Award at the 2010 Indiecade Festival for that. Man, year. to be a Vanguard and a Virtuoso is <laughs> quite the fucking feat. It is. Um... Oh, man, he's got projects and books and writing, all kinds of stuff. So this was put on a cartridge I um, and into a book and a CD and a nice little... In two editions. 
uh, paperback book of poetry. So it's, it was a whole thing. Um, and you can download it, but you can't download, as far as I know, the cartridge version. I'm not sure. Um, Inspiration. Blah, 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 blah. So there's some screenshots from it. Oh, man, and higher quality, too, in these screenshots. Yeah. Oh, we got a, like a little noise, too. It, looks like, <laughs> it almost looks like film grain, James. It does look like film grain. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, some rain. There's the log floating by. Let's see. There's the log. Wow. That's my favorite one, I think. <laughs> oh, there's or the, the coffee. I think it's between those two. Limited edition set. There you go. Everything's limited in life. Oh, so the book and the cartridge and some uh, signed thing was all inside and a CD. Wow. Uh, book of Poems. There Whoa, look at Dr. Ian's. Is this a setup? Uh, oh, Or is that exhibition. a setup within a setup? It's a setup within a setup. It was an art exhibition, it looks like. Click on that. Does that look like... Is that, uh, looks is rendered, that an actual space? No, that's a, a space that's a within space. a space. Ooh. That's a space. That's a real chairs. And a, but it almost looks pixelated. Like It looks like it could be a... Rendered? No, that looks like a real space. That's yeah, real. yeah. That's real. Yeah. It's a um, simulacrum, man. And let's see if his other game is on here. Guru Meditation is his other Atari 2600 game. I love these titles. There's the joy board. There's the mat with a, a oh pixelated whatever symbol that is. And dude, this guru has managed to float. Yeah. Oh, that's 2009. There we go. Or earlier for that one. Because I couldn't find the date. Is that a smartphone? Time. Yeah, so you can get also get it on <sighs> a smartphone. Very suspicious. So it was an interesting game. What you do is you go on the joy board and cross your legs. And you have to not click. And after a while, after you don't click anything, don't go forward. I think back. I'd have a shot at this. I... The the uh, the guy on the screen. Let's see that we'll guy. Begin to float. Raises up, and the longer you can hold it, the time starts clicking. Oh, I'd love to play this. So it's a it's a non game. The less you do, the better you are at it. No, but that's beautiful. Finding your <laughs> yeah. balance in your center. Yeah. Aligning your chakras. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently he did it for 19 hours there. I think he cheated. I'm thinking that, uh, <laughs> yeah. And so that's, it's it's just some background interesting stuff going on But also on there. such an interesting um, idea and approach because, I mean, the, the sort of critique yeah. of video games is there this the constant violent. barrage of stimulation. It's yes. like go, 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 go. exact opposite. No. Let's... This is art. This is feeling. This is yeah. emotion. This is... Because, yeah, the, the argument is the more engagement we have in screens, the more ADD we're becoming right. because the demand of the medium is to constantly stimulate us. And so the idea of taking a step back and trying, and that by by defeating the game is by finding your <laughs> inner inner peace, James. That's right. So I, I don't think you won those awards at a like video game competition. No. You won them for like art. This is very scholarly as well. Yeah. I mean, I particularly that approach of going, well, let's, let's take this. And I imagine from a communi communications perspective, absolutely. Yes. I mean, it's the McLuhan thing. It's like the medium is the message and yes. that the medium delineates and it is an ADD medium video uh -huh. games. It is a constant, like, and then input, you get a input, this. Input, and then input, output, output, output. And, and you feel just barrage sometimes, particularly with contemporary games. Oh, yeah. Um, to, it's, Flashier it is, the more things going on. To click on. a thing, to get a thing, to go to the thing. To, oh, you yeah. know, it's it's never ending. Like it's meant to be never ending. Like yeah. some games, like back in the days, they just made never ending games because it's easier. But now they make them so you keep playing and coming over back and to them. Over. Here's new content, new content, content, new content. You know, it's like bling. Now a thing. Now a bunny's jumping <laughs> across the screen. Now you click on this. Versus yeah. Doctor Ian is going. No, let's let's take a step. Namaste. So the, the descriptions are a slow years, a collection of four games, one for each season about the experience of observing things. <laughs> He's so scholarly. I love it. <laughs> These games are neither action nor strategy. Each of them requires a different kind of sedate observation and methodical input. Uh, and his guru meditation, the game is designed to be playing sit cross-legged on the joy board. Although I have also created a mode that can be played with a joystick for those who do not have a joy board. The joy board more um, joy board mode. That's a tongue twister. The player must situate themselves perfectly still in the device, legs crossed on the floor. The yogi will slowly rise if the player is properly situated. If he moves, the yogi drops, and the player can resituate and try again without having to restart. Once enough still time has passed, the yogi begins to float, and the timer starts. 
So, this um, is it, man, the joy board mode is the only mode to play guru meditation. It's in. the only way. <laughs> don't use a joystick. Go for full experience. <laughs> That's the only way. Uh, I, I would say, really. Well, truthfully, you know. Because uh, there's the joy board right there. Um, I have never actually seen one of those in person. Like that it is strikes me probably that the only picture I've ever seen. I also think the joy board might be an invention of Dr. Ian's because <laughs> it seems very specific to the guru meditation game. It's not, but is yeah. it? Oh. No, it was it was for that skiing game and some other oh, games shit. from the seventy eight hundred. Okay, so I do the... have Mogul Maniac for the twenty six hundred, but I don't have the joy board. That's interesting. So yeah, that's great. He's taking hardware that already existed. Yeah. And repurposing it. And it's great. And some, some other uh, programmers are doing that. <laughs> it's the Joy Board, the worst controller. It, for the, it depends problems. what you use it for. I yeah. mean, for guru meditation. It's perfect. It's, it's absolutely perfect. I don't think there's a better application for it. It's true. The non-use of it is how you win. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a feather in the wind. So zen. <laughs> so zen. If, if, there's no, if there's a sound Dude, and I'm you don't hear it. I'm going to get cross-legged here yeah. for some... So the games that... Were some of Dr. So, Ian's students' games. After we've gone off on that tangent about Dr. Ian and his games, we're coming back to the games we're going to play and the games that were made on the course he taught. So a lot of the games uh, that were made in his course were like Pong variations, don't touch the walls in a maze kind of thing. Yeah. Two players shooting at each other, like very simple What concepts. is this violence, James? That's right. <laughs> he should be discourage, <laughs> discouraging all those things. Um, so the, the games we're going to be taking a look at today are Push from 2007 by just one programmer, Sarah Clark. Uh, Atario Party by three people. I'm not going to say their names because... Yeah. Oh, Jabari Brown, Deep, Deep Chakrabarty and Jacob Paul. Um, Breakback 2005 by Max cool. Anderson. Michael Boyce and Patrick Jarrett, just random students. That what a cool never class made to take, game. man. I wish I could have taken a class like that yeah. in school. So these games were found in the ROM pack called Hacks and Homebrews version 1.2b by Impaler26 and sorted by Nathan Strum. God, homies always got our back. Now, after looking through this game pack and realizing the pattern of what these games and the people's names were, because they're all labeled with the people's names who made them, there are literally dozens and dozens and dozens of these games in that ROM pack. So it seems that somebody had access to these games or downloaded them before they were taken off the internet and put them all in this ROM pack. Like, I started listing them out and I gave up because there's just yeah. too many. Like, Which for you to give up, a it's list. Like, it's like, forget it. You guys go look at <laughs> that it That tells yourself. you a lot about like the dozens. list. Like, dozens. I'm not going to read them all yeah. off. Like, uh, American Gladiators Assault, Antihero, Atario Party, On Nuts, Baby Battle Bunnies, Battle Pong, Black Friday, Bomber, Buzz. Just tons, tons. Is that alphabetical? That's it was. Alphabet. Yeah. yeah. And then I gave up. Um, so... I'd love to play on the Joy Board someday. Yeah. But, um... Erlen is back. Yay. Oh, people joining in and seeing you. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so, Ian posted on the Atari Age forums... Uh, he said, hey all, as some of you know, I've been teaching with the VCS at Georgia Tech for a while now. I managed to get all the games my students have produced over the years posted to my website. And and that, that's gone now. Um, oh, that's too they're, bad. They're just under 40 games right now, a mix of assembly and Batari Basic. I should add at least 30 more to this term thanks to a large intro class, which will do a Batari as a two-week project. Is this the, a current message? Like, is this... No, it's no, from 2007. Is, oh, okay, so yeah. this is a... So that page is gone, but I I have... And this is his current... Um, this is his current website, so wow. he doesn't have that linked anymore. On yeah, his, um, what's he got for... Uh, platform... That might be it. Platform studies... studies. Oh, just series book. books and it's just a bunch of books. And wow, man, he's of prolific. He... And we all forthcoming books uh, submit yeah. a proposal. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and he of course uh, assigned his own books to his class. That's a classic move. But, you know, this is a great book. Like, you wouldn't be upset reading that book no, it's very interesting absolutely and also so I'm sure the other thing that's you know and there's always criticism about doing that as a teacher but one of the benefits of that is if a student deeply engages with mm -hmm. that book they can have a wonderful discussion with their professor um so there's like there's pros and cons to it there is yeah there's another project oh i like this i like texture, this texture after image he's talking about the the look of the atari color bleed noise, noise. 
many of today's players may only experience Atari games in emulation. It's true. Indeed, many of my students have little to no memory of CRT televisions at all. It's true. Given such factors, it seems even more important to improve the graphical accuracy of tools like Stella. I and that's true. They put in those those looks Believe of CRTs. Believe it or not, the, I played Call of Duty Modern Warfare on a CRT television, oh. which, was a, which was a great paradox there. Maybe some will point down dance revolution of the 2600. One of the games of the students, one of the students made, um, is a dance dance revolution wow. game. Have you ever, it's not very I, good. have you done some DDR in, in very your little. time? Very I've never little. touched it. It always intimidated me. When I would go to the arcade, when oh, arcades no, were a thing, I would, arcade. and it would always be like one person killing it. And it, it felt like the alpha <laughs> like, of the boom, fucking boom, room. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to go play some Gauntlet Legends instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, playing it at home is different because you can set it on easy and it's Definitely. slow. I mean, I've more played um, like Guitar Hero or uh, what's the other one? Band. Yeah, Band Cam. No, Band. Band something. Yeah. Garage Band. Garage no. Band. No, so that's the... No, that's the... That's that's making the, music. That's the software. But the other ones, yeah. Yeah, but uh, but uh, that's always intimidated me. I don't know why. Those games have never been like my favorite lane of, of gaming. They're, they're wonderful, but I've always... They're really fun, actually. I've, they've yeah. always And we bought a sh- dance... We bought a pad wow. for the Wii, I think it was, or the 360. I think we have it somewhere. Or they're garbage, the, yeah. those pads. The ones in the arcade are the, the, the good ones. So we're going to get into the games before we delay it too long. Which so we're going to be doing Push first. Okay, let's do some Push 2007. Bam. Okay, I just, I won't launch anything. Oh, I guess. Oh, this is a two-player game. So I'm going to plug in a joystick. So what um, do you do? So you just... This is Push by Sarah Clark, a two-player Tetris-like game. Oh, you... Attempt to fill your opponent's side of the screen by moving and turning the blocks to fit in the right place. Fill um, your opponent's side? That's not a very good description. It's more like you survive longer than the opponent. Ah, I see. Um, what happens like, if I just go like through this empty space like this? It's actually, that's the right move. Whoa. Because you're not filling up your side. But quickly that option goes away. Uh-oh. Because um, it fills up. But I'm going to get this second joystick so that I can play. Because it is only a two-player game. Because yeah. these people didn't have time to... Well, and it, but I mean, already an interesting concept. I never would have uh, I never would have thought of this as a... No, because it's, it's, it's... I like this two-player joystick Tetris, a lot, but it's This is very cool. It's a great joystick. I'm sure that... You folks already know about this. This is the first time I've seen it, though. Except, I'll show you a little I bit like of a problem. I like that it's transparent as well. Ooh, yeah. yeah. It's no good. Hey. So, it kind of pushes something inside. Yeah. So, sometimes the joystick will get stuck where you can't push enough upward, but mostly it's fine. But the rest of it's really good. Hi. You know, the concept of this game is, is two-player Tetris, which has been done before, but not like you're interacting with the other person. Oh, the in-programmer reset. Press a button? No. No. Ugh, the worst. Kids. The worst. You don't have to press anything anything down. Oh, it's that's not a great. genesis. That's great news. I'm going to sit on you then. Squish. Come on. Pixel. You're going to move. Come on. Just a bit. I know you're mad at me because I'm doing things you don't want me to do. <laughs> okay, so push, push, right? Yeah. Sarah Clark. Yeah, so she did this one on her own. Okay, so I'm blue. So uh, We can't drop them. So what happens, though, if we just go to the other person's screen? Let's see. Oh, what... yeah. Ooh, ooh. Oh, my God. Jesus what just happened Christ. there? <laughs> oh, so... I don't understand necessarily the... Uh... Oh, oops. Hey, buddy. Yeah, we could just do this forever. But I kind of have to block you at some point, right? So I'm going to try and at least do something so that we can play a game. So how do I... I can't seem to switch, Left though. and right, left. Left and right. Oh, Jesus. Well, maybe not hold down left and right. It's not... Yeah, a button would have been better for that. Uh, I'm gonna go Uh-oh, yeah. That fuck. was I not. fucked up. Yeah. And now, just keep in mind, these were made in like two weeks, these games. It's amazing. And from... Oh, oh, I can't turn my... Ah, I can't change my direction on that one. A little bit of a bug Kids there. Kids these days. <clears throat> don't even know. 
And and in the curriculum it or in the course outline it says you you don't need any programming experience. Oh, I can't. Oh well, look at this fucking shape it. that I got going on. Are we gonna come back? I, I bet it'll come back. I hope. Yep. <laughs> Dude, he's disturbed by my. Uh, oh. Meow. I think you want to complete lines. I don't think they disappear. I don't think so either, man. I'd like to try and get one. I'd love it if that were the case. That would be amazing. I don't think I'll be able to. Let's see. Let's see if I can. Gary really messed up when it blanked out, though. Oh. Oh, I, I'm, I've messed Do up. I have a line? Like, this is a line. More no, than. Line. Uh, oh no. Look at this character I got going on there. <laughs> Look at oh, this character. My oh my god, it's real. Oh my god. Somebody won. <laughs> Somebody won. And I don't think it was me. I think it was. I don't know. We both got huge blocks. No, I, I hit the wall. Like, mine filled up. Oh, we're both sure. very close to dying. Okay, let's play that once more, and we're going to try and complete a line. Okay. And see if it disappears. If it disappears, then we can... Uh, push. Push. Because somebody suggested making a line. It's a great idea. But who's... I guess when you place it, that then it's your line. Collision time. Uh -oh. I can do a pretty good uh -oh. line uh -oh. here. Uh -oh. Oh, my first ability uh -oh. to do a line is not coming up yet. Oh, see, I already screwed it up. Oh, I can't move that. Oh, I can't yeah, well, that one, sometimes. That, well, that one kind of bugs out, I've noticed. Yeah. When you, so I have a chance to do a line I do too. here, I think. Uh, mine's um, coming up. But mine's a bit. The next one, if I can rotate this. Yeah, so see, okay. I, see, I Lines can potentially up. do a line, too. I bet it's not going to do anything. <gasps> it did something. Oh, now I, I have glitch. I have glitchy things now. Oh, no. That's good. This becomes a better game <laughs> if we can do that. If the line count issue when rotating was not an issue, that would be a lot better. But Okay, I'm going to make another line. I'm close to it making. Did, it did. I'm real close to making things. a line. I'm throwing this. I guy couldn't down rotate there. that guy. Yeah, and like, and then this guy's very suspicious. <laughs> Can't rotate the long lines. Oops, sorry. That's okay. I, I held it down too long. You flew too close to the sun. I did. It'll come. Back. I don't. I don't remember. Uh... Oh, we're back. Oh no. Oh, see, <laughs> like, look at what happened because the screen went off. I ended up uh, making a bunch of terrible choices. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh no! At least you had a spot for it. Oh no! Now we're being very Something punished. Tells me we're oh. not gonna survive. Oh, one. I won. You definitely won. Okay, so you actually won last time. I think you want to complete lines. Definitely, man. I think so too, because we did, and then it gave us weirdness. Okay, so we're done with that game. I think we've explored it. Yeah, definitely. It's kind of kind of weird and glitchy. But I feel like I feel like hitting the button ro rotating would have been nicer. Do you know what I yes. mean? Like, cause it would have been. It would make more sense. Yeah, and it'd be easier to navigate mentally. But man, do... two two weeks of work is great, and the concept alone is awesome. That's like I I had the choice of like sixty games to choose from. These are the best of them. <laughs> the best, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna be playing uh Atario Party. Whoa. This is by Jabari Brown. Not Deep... to be confused with Mario Party. No. Deep Chuck Rabarti and Jacob Paul. So... We think that any game, good or bad, simple or complex, and high or low tech, can still be fun when two players get enough engagement in competition. So, so far I can't move. No, we're not started yet. But I can shoot. Oh, no, this is not the game. Psst. Stop it. Uh, everyone likes to win. And those that lose will try and get a rematch, so competitive games urge people to continue and play until someone is com uh, compelled to quit. We combined two of our game ideas to make one multiple mini-game variant, one half quick draw and one half sumo. Dude, Isabella's fucking lover just showed up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so We need Gabe. We're not going to be playing this quick draw one, because okay. I have no idea what's going on here. We're going to be playing the sumo one. I can get to it. So they made two games. Okay. So before you start doing anything. I'm blue. Erlen is red. And we have to push the other person out of the ring. Ah! Ah! You just got two points. 
So the score on the bottom is a bit... Oh, my God. What am I, red? Yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh. See, this is where the chess fucking right. grandmaster quote comes in. Oh, Just don't God. make mistakes and... This is the whole thing. What? It, what oh, it's actually God. a really good advice for a lot of things, actually. That I that idea that a lot often we are measured more by just not making mistakes than necessarily our successes, which is weird. So if I don't move and you push me in a direction, I go in that direction. If I'm pushing the opposite, neither of us move. But our characters are also kind of slippery at the same time. Like we kind of glide off each other. These are like oiled up sumo guys. <laughs> hey man this is a lot like my covid <laughs> some oiled up sumo wrestling that's right oh erlen is trouncing me probably because i am like trying too hard and i'm going off every time Dude, I've, I've been, off I've been following myself. dr ian's advice just fucking find my inner inner center just you know like you're playing it more like judo where you're letting me use my energy to, to propel myself off the screen. I'm channeling my guru. Hey man, if I'm if I'm t ah. playing with Dr. Ian's students, I'm using Dr. Ian's advice. I'm imagining the 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 seasons. Oh my god. And the ring's just small Ooh, enough. Oh, see. Oh, head oh, to head. Oh, oh, oh. Push. So you can, if you're hitting straight on, you can get a... This is my uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu coming <laughs> in. You must not defeat your opponent. You ah. must allow your opponent to defeat himself. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Pretty much, so far, 11 I've points been, to I've uh, been just chilling in Shavasana here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so close. I think you're trying to make me push myself off again like maybe the pushing needs to be a bit faster uh, I can't do it also if I'm pushing you and I know you're like moving out of the way in the last second um, but I have to also give up at the last second, too, to make sure I don't get pushed off. Uh, it's too a, hard. This needs a, something I'm else. A feather to... in the wind, James. Oh, my God. Holy shit. What was that? We just fucking... <laughs> this is a new I layer. Press, I press the button, and it shot out something. What happens when you press the button? Nothing happens. Oh. What is that thing? It doesn't hurt me. Well, I'm going to see if it what it does to me. Oh. Oh. Whoa, Haruken! That's your chi. Yeah, but I only got You're one. You're channeling the chi. I've used it up. <laughs> Which is not super effective in MMA, but it's no. <laughs> very cool when you have your students pretend to fall backwards when you shoot their chi. <laughs> we can smash some fake bricks. <laughs> oh, have you seen videos of oh, people yeah. doing that garbage? It makes me laugh so much. Like, I love Whoa! that stuff. And the student goes, whoa! Oh. Oh, it's so good. There's a famous, um, like, like, Ugh. like TV guy who did it too. The current gameplay seems like it is. It is way like this needs something else. Hey man, I I I, mean, I took ass, dude. But... I took some notes from Doctor Ian. Yeah, I understand Doctor Ian's methodologies. <laughs> that it's not about you. Don't need to Ugh. fight to win. <laughs> I mean, I could stand in the middle, and just always aim for the middle. It's true. You'll never be able to push me off. It's true. And then and then after thirty minutes, people will go, um not working. Yeah, this is like this is like early MMA days. Because I can easily slip around you. That's the problem. Yeah. Was it Hoist Gracie? So that's who I'm trying to be, man. <laughs> I think that's the guy's name. And if if I can do that, then you can do the same thing. Also, what I is try. going on with my arms? <laughs> I look more like a turret than a than a human. <laughs> <You're> like ah. <laughs> oh, okay, we're done. Okay, cool. It it wasn't as effective just two players I thought it would be. Yeah. I thought okay, this this can kind of work, um, but it didn't. Sorry. Uh, oh, sort of like sumo wrestling. <laughs> sort of. 
Well, I didn't put it up is the easier to push yourself off. But isn't that the lesson that what? Dr. Ian wants to <laughs> impart? <laughs> he does. That we are our worst enemy, and we have to get out of our own way. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like you're talking about like a painting, and it's just like a blue. It's one color. It's like so interpretive. It's well, like, it expresses no, no. The, the, the emotional turmoil that we're all going through, this one shade of blue, James. Yeah, the turmoil of looking at this painting. This water sign. This, yeah. Okay, so next this, one we're going to be playing is... This fucking artist taking home 300K for fucking one shade of blue. Oh, yeah, he only had to buy one can of paint. Very collectible. Breakback, 2005 by Max Anderson, uh, Michael Boyce, and Patrick Jarrett. This game is an extension of the Atari game Breakout. The game has been expanded to include, include two-player capabilities. The screen is divided in half, giving an equal size playing area to each player. Players compete to clear their board and stay alive. Keep their ball on screen at the same time. Both players move horizontal paddles across the bottom of the screen to deflect the ball, which will clear any blocks. It oh, so this is like Pong, but with Breakout. But yeah, with... it's 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 Breakout, just a little variation That's on cool. it. That's cool. I'm excited. You ready? Yeah. Yep. Okay, I just... Okay. Oh, okay. So... Uh-oh. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I am on the right. Erlen's on the left. So far, somebody has 55 points. Oh, you have to press the button. Yeah, so far you can really... Oh, God. Yeah, I already... Uh... So is... Is it this? Is it like a speed? It's like yeah, we're competing to clear the board first. I'm. Oh, that I'm makes guessing. a lot of sense. Do you think it's to get to the top or clear the entire board? Uh the entire board. Whoa. Um, there we go. I would say I got a little bit lucky. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not gonna say that's that's my skill. Oh. oh, and it came back. Oh no. Oh, the ball is English, so if you you have to move when the ball hits. Oh, it came back. What is? Is this like on off kind of thing? Yeah, it's it's interesting. Get um, up there. I'm not Damn. sure. Yeah. <gasps> oh, do we have a time limit? Did I <laughs> win? I think I did. <laughs> interesting. Weird. <laughs> What's the score represent then? Uh, I, I fucking have that's the for us same to figure thought, it out. Carl. Ready? <laughs> Go. I think it, it kept See, track I got of so lucky because hit. look, it kind of landed on the. The top? Like, oh my god. Like, it just, I f again, this is not... It's two weeks. They, they got this Oh, no, I don't mean weeks. I don't mean that. I just mean, my. it's not my skill that's that's defeating you. It's... Buggy. It's, it's <laughs> buggy. buggy. Fucking Captain Classic filled in the <laughs> the, the words of the day. Oh, but yeah. Two weeks. Two weeks work. Three people. Collaboration is... Oh. Set first for set. Not much room on the bottom here. Gotta this get is a there. Simpsons like face. Do you know what I mean? Like Homer. it's got a real like Homer vibe. It does. Yeah, I'm getting my English going. Oh, you won, man. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. The... I feel like you should like have to the clear game. at least like half of it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that seems like a good goal to have. It seems like a fairly key component of Breakout is that you have to get all of the things oh, broken out. What happened? <laughs> and it also filled in the, the shape here. Oh. Oh. You think this was like a B plus or a C minus <laughs> or a... Oh, I think they I wonder got a what good the, score. I wonder what the rubric was. I mean, I imagine a functional game, you're probably getting at least a B. Yeah, it is um, input, output. It does what you say it does. Yeah, like I'd I wonder what the syllabus is. And also, because, yeah, I, I suspect this is like their final project. Ooh, like go, maybe go, they go. had like a midterm. They had to do two projects. One in Batari, Batari Basic and one in Assembly. Um, the communications department at SFU I worked at, um, part of the whole idea was that by creating media, we are learning more deeply about media. And I, oh, yeah. and I think it's very true. I think that's a really important thing that w one of the critiques <gasps> of, I definitely um, want to, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, definitely. I don't know what the game over situation there. is. <laughs> like I got I, most of the blocks. <laughs> yeah. And also they appear to kind of like knock through everything very much. C minus. Yeah. But yeah, I love the idea of this side-by-side -side breakout. Like that's why I chose these three games because uh, the core ideas of them are so it's wonderful. Good. Yeah, because from a conceptual level, um, dual breakout is amazing. A great idea. And who gets to clear the board the quickest? And multiple boards, like say smiley face. Yeah. Um, 
so, strange symbol. And the sumo thing, pushing each other. I think I've, I've played a game like that before, a long time ago. I can't remember the name of it. And and the 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 first one, what the hell was the first one again? Um, oh God, what was the first one? Uh, push the Tetris, the two-player oh, head-to-head yeah, head cool interactive idea. Tetris. Brilliant! Like it's just. I wonder if he each, suggested each... like taking a classic thing and because do you know what I mean? That seems to be the the, the kind yeah. of connection. Except for the sumo, I mean. That's but original. No, but, but taking like Tetris and doing a spin on it, I, I imagine that might have been something he said in class. Imagine taking a classic thing, yeah. make a two player, and because that seems to be a sort of theme, but that might just be the curation. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Oh, some of the bricks appeared on the opponent side when hit. See, that's cool. That's an like interesting you're punishing, idea. But only some of them did. Yeah. Who knows? Ooh, Captain Classic says, I want dual breakout, but situated vertically instead of horizontally. That's an interesting concept. Like one person? Oh. This so is in like you, this one is person. One person's on the side and one person's on the no, bottom? No, I think it's like these guys are here and then they're kind of firing at each other. Oh. Which seems. We've played something like that. Yeah. I We have. Like recently we played wow. something like that actually. Um, but this yeah, is like geez, separate. This shirt's great, man. Yeah, I don't think I've washed mine yet, but somebody in the forum says they've washed theirs and it's totally fine. That's good. That's always the danger, you it know. It is. It's like it starts flaking off. I always or wash my colored stuff on cold, but then oh, we wash everything. But on then cold they get too. like streaks of stuff sometimes. High pixel. So. Yeah, because I feel like throwing this on hot. That's when you might be in trouble. Yeah. So the next game we're gonna be playing, the last one. <clears throat> is Chase It. And this is a demo version because um, the full version was never released as far as I can tell in the forums. Uh, this is by Alan W. Smith, Acoustic Guitar with two Cs, spelled incorrectly. Uh, first posted November 26, and that's when this is the same build. It's a 4K game. This It's 16K for the full game. Other games he's made, uh, Chase It, Escape It, Car Combat, Labyrinth, Miss It, and a number of hacks. And you can download this demo version in the Atari Age forums. Go for it. Cool. Um, he says, my latest game, and probably my last game for a while, this version is two-player only. Is this from, a, are these students still, or is this no, a we're different? Done. Okay, we're done, we're done with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr. Ian, thank you for your good work. Yeah, I thought that was really, really interesting. Your legacy lives on, my friend. That's right, forever. Oh, I'm sure he's not worried about that. No, he's, he's put out 10 books. He's, <laughs> he's killing it, but, yeah. but I And won awards it. for games he's I appreciate made. your contribution though man it's it's yeah. awesome i wish there were more classes that would do something like yeah. this because i think engaging in the creation of media is one of the most incredible ways because the issue with education is we critique things but yeah. we rarely create things yes. and in there's a lot of critiquing out there going on and in creation i think you cultivate a very different relationship to the thing that you and i think it's a humbling experience whenever I, you go to create and i think i'm going to encounter that making my game yeah as well and understanding what goes into it and and i already knew that there's a lot of time that goes into these games like yeah. way more than you know there's no money being made in the homebrew scene which is but, which is why i think the scene is so cool on one level yeah because unfortunately money does corrupt you know it does. sadly and there is no there's no corruption going on here because people know there's no expectation of any money ever being made i mean there is money going to be made but it you're making like five cents an hour, maybe, yeah. <laughs> when it all works out. Maybe that. Yeah, as soon as the money gets thrown in, it, it mm. changes it, man. And becomes a job. Yes. Rather than a fun thing that you want to do. And you can't chase your whimsies in the same way. You can't yeah. follow your, your instincts. I'm serious. And it's like, oh, what's going to make me the most money? Rather than, oh, I think I want to make this fun game. Yeah, it's where like the more the higher the budget, not, the freedom is actually limited. There is yes. a there is like a nice means of like yeah, enough money to have the resources and labor, but not too much that you're yeah. um, having to you know make all these people happy. Yeah, yeah, because all the people that are giving you the money <laughs> have are like we better get this money back. So we're gonna make it as broad as possible, the most appeal, or make it tricky like games that are like you know all these dlcs and uh gamifying um it's like oh you have to buy this upgrade pack or you have to buy this gold for the yeah. game to keep playing or you could grind for a thousand hours or just skip all that and in in my world of rpgs 
um, watered down gameplay to appeal to the most audience because mm. people don't want a number crunch. I love right. to. I want to fucking look up graphs and like research and do <laughs> stuff. And won't. that's really fun. But when you want to appeal to a mass audience, you need to simplify your system. And you know, even having stats, it's like, well, no, let's not have five stats. Let's have three. And you're like, right. And all of a sudden, the game starts to turn into something that's less cool because, yeah. you know. Uh, so select a game with the game switch and press the fire button on the left controller to start the game. So we've, we'll just start with one. Cool. Um, is this two player or is this? So let me read out. It is two player. Don't do anything yet. Okay, cool. I won't. Because then you'll get ahead. Dude, we'll Pixel is it. stalking. He's fucking looking for something to hunt. Yeah. You can just tell. Wires. He's currently in like predator mode, he's man. Around. He's uh, this is an expanded, uh, let's see, expanded version, blah, blah, blah. Chase It is a game of chasing the red squares that appear randomly on the screen. It's blue against black. So you're oh, so I'm, blue, so we're I'm black. So let's go over here. Let's start over here. Uh, the goal is to reach the squares before your opponent. Whoever collects 99 squares first wins. Chase Chase It is an exciting and challenging game that can be enjoyed by the whole family. James, I'm thinking Dr. Ian's tactics might not work with Chase It. <laughs> I no. think I might need to get... So let's go in the corners. Okay. So I feel like I have a huge advantage in this corner. Though. I know, but it's going to change Okay. because I think the reds are going to be random. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh my god, you're kicking my ass. First, I don't like this joystick. Oh, oh! I hate this joystick. I hate the game pads. Oh, he kept moving. Oh my god. We're gonna change joysticks. Do you wanna do it now? No. Okay. I don't know what this goes up to though. 99! 99 is way too many. Way too many. Yeah, it's and also it's morale killing at a certain <laughs> point. We'll go to uh, forty. Oh my god! Holy shit! So yeah, one. Sometimes you get in a rhythm. Oh, Dr. you do, Doctor Ian. Or you get lucky and it's on your side. I miss I miss just drinking my coffee and looking at <laughs> spring, man. <laughs> oh, see now we're back to the medium. Demands ADD levels of. Uh, actually, it's not a bad idea. Where's to my log? Give, to give up if the other person's ahead and head in the opposite middle direction of the screen. Yeah. Oh, I hate this joystick. Oh, you beat me. Okay. Okay. We're switching joysticks. <laughs> <laughs> now we're at the compl complaining. Yes. About the... it, it is that time. Okay, so we're going to play game variation two. Okay, I'm ready. I think there might be barriers this time. Oh, shit. Okay, ready? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, oh, there's more than... What? Oh, you can choose which one you want to go after. Holy shit. That's cool. Wow, yeah, because this is... There's a bit more of a... RNG element now it feels. Yep. Nice variation. Holy shit. Yeah, it's also like I can feel in the D pad my like <laughs> thumbs are starting to wear out faster, you know. Versus that other one you could switch hands. There's no switching hands. <laughs> oh no. Also, I've been playing nothing um, oh but gosh. computer because I don't have a c controller, so it's fun to be back on a controller. Oh, yeah, you use um, mouse keyboard. Mouse keyboard, which is fun because, like, you know... Oh, maybe I just suck at this game. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I definitely suck at this. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> I think it's just luck. What a streak. Everywhere. That was a lot of luck all together, but in general, you are destroying me. <laughs> There's a huge RNG factor in this. Oh game. my god, yeah. Well, yeah, I just... 
But after a while, the RNG goes away because there's a lot of it. So therefore, you are Whoa. destroying me. This is a lot faster, this game. This is a better so 100 version. 100 is fine in this one. This is a much better version. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh, feather in the wind, James. Destroyed me. Destroyed me. Uh something to be said for simple games like this. <laughs> In today's kids vernacular, if you've never played your controller, do you even play games, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Dumb controller. Yeah, bro. I was having trouble with that controller. Oh my god, yeah. And my honestly, dude, my fucking hand hurts now from doing that. But I, I haven't I've been mouse keyboarding it a lot. Oh yeah, yeah. So Um so this is uh sold at Good Deal Games, the full version. Um only thirty copies were manufactured um of the sixteen K. Um, and it's still available. Yeah. Chase It is a simple but fun and addicting game. Red squares appear upon the screen as your job to collide with them before your opponent. Some variation of the games have barriers to complicate the race. The 16K game... I was game. just going to say, man, because they, they, they asked a great question. Is it yep. simple but good? How could it be improved? My first thought was barriers. barriers and they already... Yeah, they already thought of steps that. Ahead. Uh, the first nine variations are two-player games. Games 10 through 15 are single-player challenges, uh, not the one we have. We yeah. have the demo. Variations 16 through 20 are teddy bear levels featuring slower-moving handicapped opponent to give younger players an advantage. That's good. The game is graphically representative of early Atari titles, but plays like a dream. I love I love self-descriptions. <laughs> yeah, it's so like, good. Oh, it's, it's the best game ever. Uh, we have priced this game accordingly as a budget title release. The game is not technically groundbreaking, nor is it fancy, but just plain fun. Only 30 copies manufactured. So there's still copies yeah. after how many years? Uh, 11 years. There's still some copies of yeah. that 30 left, unless they made more. But it says 30 right on this An another, page. another idea I had for this one is if you grabbed upgrades that would randomly make you bigger or smaller. Because if you were much smaller, the game would be so much harder. But if you were bigger, you'd have a yeah. huge advantage. So you could like hit a thing and maybe you'd grow or shrink. Oh. So that way you could be like... Because if you're a tiny little dot, it would be extra hard. But if you're a big one, it'd be kind of a fun thing where you're like... And then if you're bigger, you're more yeah. likely to hit upgrades that might downgrade you. Those are my ideas. And that's totally doable. Um, if you make each of us a sprite... Um, and we could be different, still be different colors. There might be sprites there already. Um, yeah, that's a good variation. Because I that was I was trying to think like what would make this easier or harder. Because the person who's growing would have to be the one who's losing. Yeah. Not the one who's winning because you just keep winning. Yeah. Even more and more. Uh, yeah, that's a good variation. It's a decent. It's some interesting. Someone even made a game that plays itself. Yes. And I like. We the, did play that I one. I really very like the early two. On. That's much more fun than the one. Oh, the having way the two more. is it's faster. You're both chasing after one, but two, it's like, oh, which one's closer? Yeah. Uh, quick, you have to make a decision. Okay, I don't know what this variation Let's is. Let's try it out. Okay. Uh, oh, it's fast. It's speed version. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> so it makes it a little bit more crazy and challenging. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn it. <laughs> this is where we're Both just fly running right in through it. <laughs> circling the red dots. This is the circular mode. Oh god, my fingers already hurt. I'm just not used to... Surprise Pixel hasn't seen the game. Oh, like, my, oh god, my god, I almost want to switch Kill hands. Oh my god, yeah, it's it's so hard on a D-pad. I'm just not used to these muscles. <laughs> Still kicking my ass. Oh, I, yeah, I don't know how many of these I have in me just because... Okay, we're good. Oh no, we can if you want to. We no, can no, no. Fin like, I don't know how many variations they included. Oh, so. but no, I can feel it's just it's it's mu Oh, it's, there's only three. Only three. Okay, we'll finish off that one. This is the last game of the day, so. Oh, oh! <laughs> I went for the other one and made it all the way there before you got it. Yeah, fast oh. is hard. Yeah. So unfortunately, there's no barrier variation in this one, which sucks. But it is just a demo, and it is enough to go, yeah, I can see this being a really good game. It Whoa. is a good game already. Whoa. 
keep them up with you. Yeah. Okay this time. Oh my god, kitten. I'll hold up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. I can feel that I haven't played a controller in fucking <laughs> four a months. Long time. Yeah. yeah. Also, but this is a particularly relentless uh Yeah, this is a lot of directional movement. I'm having okay, I found a different part of my thumb. <laughs> yeah, this is like fatigue center. Oh, yeah. Holy oh. crap. <laughs> Reminds me of, like flies buzzing oh around. Oh my god. Bzzz, bzzz. That'd be a good sound effect. Bzzz, 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 bzzz. Every time you change directions, a little buzzing noise. Oh my god. Oh my god. Clearing the screen. Way ahead of me. Oh. Oh, my hands hurt so much <laughs> already. You're almost there. Oh god. Another minute. Fatigue is real. Ah. Whoa. Yeah, there's almost like when it's so out of your like range, there's just almost a tactic to like just just get in the center, just to be the be as middle as possible. Oh, oh my god, I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> I'm in autopilot. Oh, two, one. Oh, oh my God. Wow, well, that's a relentlessly. Oh, a moving square variation as Whoa, well. Whoa, dude, Where that's fucking the way. It starts moving random direction. And two moving around? Oh, that would just be. And they could be fast be, or slow. Just be in the, in the middle of a beehive at that point. Hey, Zero Pagers. Hey, Metal Lunar. Hey. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So that was the last game. Uh, that's a great. That's a great really game. good. It is game. a bit relentless. I oh, think it's all good. No, it's just it's just probably with a joystick it would be better. But I oh, found... he's right. Ninety nine points is too high. Fifty would be nice. Fifty's enough. Because what's that? Oh, well, it's it's definitely on that computer. Yeah, I think. Computers. Something's um, going on. Great stuff. Great stuff. Um, so we played unholy. Which is excellent. I like the tone and vibe of that, but I always I got my way in. Like I love gothic stuff. Yeah, you know, Diablo's and, my shit. And you like RPGs. You like where there's big maps. Castlevania. Like I love that tone. And unlocking. Yeah. Let's get our screen back here. Bye, Doctor Ian. <laughs> Bye, Doctor Ian. It was nice visiting with you. Uh, high screen sl screen burn slow burn. That was it. Did we? Did you play that? I think it was with Darcy. No. It was very early on in zero page it was a game that just played itself mm. it was very much like that it just randomly moved around the screen and collected items i was i was just watching a video about you know those terrible facebook games that'll be like the greatest mmo rpg and it's like some you know scantily clad <laughs> lady right. and all this stuff and then one person played and did a review of it and oh, and it was i want to see that and it, i'll send you the link because it was see reviews is somebody does somebody have a channel like that does reviews this one guy did it and and it was hilarious because it played itself he's like i'm gonna go oh. away for five minutes and the thing that was hilarious was like you kill one person you go from level one to six the second person six to twelve and oh it's like God. constantly asking you to buy shit and it was constantly <laughs> it's like you now you have a dragon your dragon leveled up to level oh. it was just a barrage but it was funny because it, it totally just played itself and then he said as soon as he downloaded it he went onto facebook and it was just relentless ads about that company oh, just different games all within that same lane of just oh, these like boy. you know uh, so you know that he's a sucker now yeah it's like and then it's like oh, you know yeah. give us send your credit link. card send me that link i really want to it was, watch it was that. hilarious um but yeah i wanted that it just made me think of that of games that play themselves yeah and there there are real games there's a bunch of games that play themselves it's like just adventure games um yeah, uh, unholy, amazing graphics, amazing sound, amazing really, visuals, amazing story. A great concept. Yeah, great concept. Um, if there were a couple upgrades, like you could get, like you know, like uh, different things, like yeah. it'd just be a couple like weapon upgrades because you have just that one weapon. You got your one. Like maybe you can hold down a button and it would go and kill the whole Definitely. screen. Definitely, and some like tougher that. enemies and stuff. Yep. You know. What do these things add? Yeah, I don't see ads either, for some reason. Oh, he said, <laughs> and he said, let Aaron play Ultima. 
Ultima. Well, we pet played Penult. Yeah. Penult. And we'll be revisiting that at yeah. some point. Uh, playing Ultima on the show is is any kind of huge RPG like that is quite an undertaking. Like, yeah. It's hours. It's like you're doing a lot of work. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if we'll be getting into those type of games. And we'll be playing only Homebrew too. That's we'll true. We'll be playing yeah. Ultima. Uh, push. I mean, let's just. But I'll, I mean, I'll play Ultima if someone hooks me up with a link or something, just because I've never. I don't even even know anything about it. It'll be fun. It's to like penalt. Be fun to like. Then I can actually compare the two. That's true. I'm. Um. Yeah. If it's in an RPG lane, I'm always down. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're fun. They're great. And, oh yeah. And I'm. I'm starting to dungeon master again. I've oh, been doing really? a bunch more writing, and I'm getting like planning. A you know. It's the ultimate writing. Yeah. It's in, improv plus writing. It's so much fun. That's one of my favorite things to yeah. do. Probably. Yeah. Um, DMing. Yeah. yeah. But it takes a lot of time and prep and 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 everything. But and you have to kind of force the players to do the thing that you wrote it's like no no you're yeah. going to that dungeon you're not going to the town go to the dungeon yeah well or you, I, a wind forces you towards the door of the dungeon or what i try to do is like <laughs> build like spaces you know that are like people you know that there's it's i think it's about playgrounds it's something similar to a mm. game where it's like you want to build a area that you can like you want to force them through a door but there should be exploration within the playground so something like getting yeah. on a ship is beautiful because now they're just on the fucking ship you know Trapped. what i mean or, or you're like going into a thing or the door closes behind you yeah trying to keep people <laughs> down the road but then because i think people because no gamer wants to feel like you're controlling them no no, no but at no. the same time you know you can't there's a limit to imagination so it's it's a fun it's a fun challenge mm -hmm. and um and also, I just fucking love RPGs. I just oh, love... Yeah. I love the sort of... The whole thing about them. Yeah. Leveling up and getting better weapons. And, and stat management and yes. examining the different things. And there's something about the D20 system of rolling. There's an element of chance always. And, yes. And you have to, a 1 is terrible, 20 is amazing, and it doesn't yeah. matter what you do. But, I mean, there's the chance, but there's also playing you to your strengths. Totally. Plus the chance. It's plus like, oh, story. I know that I can do well with this tactic, but... How well. And it's fun with a group because um, one of the yeah. challenges with gaming is it's you alone. And even if you're playing online, there's so many trolls, so many assholes. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're not kind of collectively doing something. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, the Push and Atario Party and Breakback, those are interesting. So much fun. I thought it was an interesting story to delve into. Oh, there was this course and all these people did games in two weeks that have never made a game before in their life and never made one afterwards and what could they come up with like yeah they're glitchy they're a little bit not working quite right but the concepts they came up with are really really cool and and it's the ones just, i chose anyway if you oh, dar yeah. start delving into them <laughs> it's probably it's a cesspool yeah it's i mean every bit of a mess <laughs> every population distributes equally <laughs> yes. you're gonna have exceptions on both ends yeah um, and uh, chase it. I wish I had the full version. Um, maybe I can find it and we can revisit it. Um, because I can't buy every game, unfortunately. I don't have unlimited yeah. funds to buy every single Atari game. Oh, and I rearranged my shelf up here. So the whole lower shelf is now Atari 2600 Homebrew. Oh, Everybody God. can't see that. That makes but. sense. And uh, now that uh, Erlen's back, I can um, plan for a show that we will look through my collection. Oh, that'll be so much fun see the whole lower shelf it's it's obscured by some games but so cool actually, I can zoom in. And more. there's the loose ones it's all the box box copies behind the scenes <laughs> BTS. And I've actually put all the all the champ games together all the oh, spiceware yeah. together all the Thomas Yanch together and this is amazing too that this exists yeah. that's new yeah. Zero page. can people purchase these yeah they can purchase jesus right christ page. i gotta get me one of these fucking pillows yeah i think that's the smallest size so there's different sizes and they they ship with like the um i'm the pillow it's not just the pillowcase so. i'm not gonna lie james i was expecting like not as good as this <laughs> graphics well i <laughs> <laughs> i was expecting like just uh, in in fucking blue font zph so oh that's no, it. no it's if i do something i put the effort in do it you know properly. and you also this is a right nice color as well like it's a textured gray yeah you, know? you can buy s plain ones yeah or you can buy i think i can't remember what the name of that is but it's 
it's got some texture. Well, some, it fits some... my whole look. I don't know how does. that works. Gray, gray, gray. <laughs> going, going gray. I was going to wear blue jeans, which actually will work too. Jesus. Um, and some games coming up. Um, and shows coming up. Oh, and I, I don't know if I mentioned, we did a spot developer spotlight. Oh, wow. On Thomas Yant. And so the whole show was him and going through his games. Uh, from start to finish, in order. And we had him on video chat oh, that must here have the been. whole time, answering questions about his games. And Man, his... i got to go home and watch that now. That's amazing. That'd, that'd be a very good one to watch. I'd like watch. to see if that. You're gonna, if you're going to watch any zero-page homebrew this year, that's the one to watch. Yeah, that's a that's like a top. And it went really well. And so we're going to continue with that You should do series. like a... I don't know if, if, you, if you can do it or someone. It would be cool to do like a playlist of the of the developer spots, you know, so someone can like... Well, we go through all the games so they can kind of do that. But I mean I like... I mean, I didn't type it out. No, but I mean like, you know how on YouTube you can like, if you do more of them, there's like a playlist oh, function? I've done that. Oh, you did? Perfect. I, I put it under interviews. Yeah, perfect. So I have all the interviews like Al Yoruso and, and John Champo and Dianoid, and now it's Thomas Yanch. And so you can go through all the interviews that I've ever done. Oh, cool. And they're in a playlist under the Zero Page Homebrew YouTube. So just click on the playlist. That's what I'm going to go do go tonight. There. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and that's probably the best education into um, uh, homebrew that you can get because those are the experts. They're the top they're players. The they're the people who make these games. Oh, shit. Thanks so much for the link. There you go. Ultima 4. Ultima 4 is the, the big breakout game. Yeah. Um, that would be a good one. To... What year was that uh, made in? 80 blah. 80 blah. 85. Wow. Um, I did not exist yet. <laughs> so as you can see, you played Penult. And take a look at wow. the screenshots. No, I mean, not that one. Oh my God. It's beautiful looking too. Yeah. So that's great. I'm guessing this is the PC version. I like that, version. that 3D like shop thing that's amazing that's an intro that's as you set up your character it's cool though it's, it's like amazing they got a little perspective going on yeah it's great great game not too complex that's i mean okay. it is very complex but in terms of overall um yeah ultima 4 so that's free so that's perfect yeah, yeah. and uh you can play it on a modern uh computer yeah i'm, I'm way into the computer play it's just because yeah. i've always played with a, a keyboard and mouse my whole life that was, right. that was uh, i've had consoles for sure but i've always come back to the computer you're going to have... Yeah, keyboard. It's a lot of keyboard commands That's in fine. this one. It's not menu-driven. So, But you just... I'm sure there's a printout that comes with it, and you can see them all. Oh, yeah. yeah. You get to dive in. As so, well. the developer spotlights, we're, we have two coming up. Two more. Uh, I don't know whether they're your days or okay. somebody else's days. And I'm not sure. Um, Daryl Spice Jr. is on August uh, 14th. Um, so, that's going to be a good one. And John Champo in September. Wow. Um, sometime, we don't know yet, because we're going to try and coincide it with the Zookeeper box release. Yeah, that makes sense. And I so want to have the, it all. the box in my hand. And I've been talking with John back and forth, and there's going to be lots of things That's going a good on game, that man. Day. That's a real fucking cool yeah. game. But there's going to be some more, like a lot of reveals. <laughs> During that show, you want to tune in. It's, it's wow. going to be a crazy show crazy 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 he does john does not disappoint man <laughs> no, that dude uh... he does not um so next uh next show uh we're gonna be playing galagon again for the last entry into the harmony games number four i'm trying to get a good high score in that um and the show after that is an all football show <laughs> and that's with tanya uh, do you know anything about football no like what are we talking um, american football yeah. yeah oh i've had to learn quite a bit because i've uh, been doing some projects that i've needed to learn some oh. stuff about which is um american football is very interesting man what i've learned yes john's show is a future of homebrew jesus yeah. uh, well what, what i are, wouldn't say that i would i would say maybe even daryl spice jr shows the future of homebrew wow. because he's developing uh a new language for programming arm games in Jeez. called spice c so spicy both indeed. the combined those two together it's like a 
a lot of limit pushing there. What Are I, you ready for some football? So, so what I learned about football, which yeah. is which is again, I'm I'm sorry if I'm sure you folks already know this, but the <laughs> difference, I mean, college and professional football are such different beasts. Are they? And what I learned I is it, why would they be? Well, this is the thing: is that the college are football teams football? are typically right. more the the coach. They're more coach driven oh. because the coach, um, if you're a, a college football player, you want to get into the NFL. Yes. And so it's often oh. coach versus coach. But at the NFL level, the players have so much more power because they're under contract. So in, in all honesty, there's a lot more to do with it. So when you, when people are, are watching college football, they're often watching uh, games that can go any which way. There's much more strategy and they're oh. much more coach oriented versus NFL is much much more star player oriented and it's almost the difference between watching like um yeah there's om there's almost no comparison yeah, totally between the different two focus yeah and yeah. it's and it's just because of the pedigree and also with a college game people um will have will be pushing much harder because nfl players are trying to protect their injuries like long lasting dude. totally another year is another millions and millions and obviously possibly. nfl players are like fucking next level like they're yeah. the super athletes but what's exciting with college apparently is when you watch college players play um you just don't know how a game could go because mm -hmm. you might have someone make a stupid choice and you are watching the coaches become a huge factor and the right. and the strategy it's much more strategic right this is in theory i don't watch this shit but i thought that was interesting that's my yeah. only football anecdote yeah. that i know nobody has uh said anything otherwise so. yeah <laughs> it's just, dude, it's like it's that's hard stuff's going on. um so yeah so tanya's going to be doing that show um, because she says she watched football and she knows a bit about Dude, football. she fucking knows more than me already. So there you go. Um, yeah, so those are the scheduled shows, and we'll be filling that in. We're going to have a, a 7800 game coming up. Wow, cool. As well. Yeah, because I'm going to be back in a couple weeks. i got a few things going on yeah, this month. Yeah, so Erilyn's um, schedule now is going to be every two weeks um, until we hit August, and then it's going back. Yeah, just and, and every, let's see how every everything's week. looking because uh, my life is just getting exploding. Um, Boom. Which is great, but it's also it's also tough <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be playing uh, Muddy Funsters, 78, new 7800 game EXO in a couple weeks. Don't know the timing on that. That's a shooter, which Ooh. I love. Love, love, love. Do, 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 do. So I may have to put uh, install the this guy. composite. This guy. Uh, composite mod into my 7800 because I do have a composite mod for that. Um, and I have a bunch of 7800s. So we can play it on emoji. a real system. It is. It's fucking nailed and it's it. it's him sleeping. Oh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a typical mode for Atari. It is. That's some meta stuff. An Atari yeah, very symbol meta. of an Atari. Atari on an Atari show. Very cute. So thanks for hanging out, everybody. Yeah, thanks so much, folks. It's good to be back, and it's cool to see all of the usual people in here. And yeah, um, yeah, and 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 I'm happy to hear stuff has been progressing, and the show's not just been like maintaining itself; oh, it's no. been thriving. And new things are happening, like developer spotlights. Yeah, gearing up for the third annual Homebrew Awards. Wow, which is exciting as well. I mean, that's in February, but but still, man, it's fucking February coming up. No, there is no 7800 multi cart. Oh, yeah, how would I deploy it? Never mind. <laughs> That's a good point. So I will not mod my 7800. No. Uh, oh, and it's interesting. Some are flipped. So some are like facing one way or the other with those. Oh, how did they do that? What? Oh, you can flip things by adding a little HF. Let me try that. So you do a little HF, horizontal flip. Can you do vertical flip? No. Oh, well, let's <laughs> just, it just puts my... Uh, Let's vertical flip there. I want to see the horizontal flip, though. Or maybe I put a stuff. space. Oh, I did put a space. Nope. <laughs> Let's try the horizontal flip. Zero pass. Just so sorry, sleeping. <laughs> How did you do it? Oh, my goodness. What Magic. is this wizardry, Metal Lunar? Yeah, somebody knows what's going Man, on. Man, he's been doing some sorcery. He's been staring at the lunar cycles and That's understands right. the Let's put a normal one. Whole deal. Like, how did he do it? I flipped it. I can see that, but like the code you have put in there, I unlocked with channel points. <laughs> Dude, you don't have enough channel points, James. I don't have the channel points to, <laughs> to flip an Atari. 
Oh my I god, love it. that's hilarious. Um, so thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, Carl G, Metal Atari 1969, Metal Lunar, Dan ABC, Carl G, Al Nefer, Captain S Classic, Splendid Nuts. Nut. Uh, and now we have a lot of people ty typing oh, underscore course. HF. <laughs> <laughs> underscore HF. Carl, Look at what you did, Lunar. Carl G, Pack Rat VG, Azure 6502. Who else? Mm. Looking for names. Dan ABC, I think I already said that. Dianoid, Leo C. Santi, thank you so much for sending in your uh, game on Holy. That was a lot of fun. Oh, thank you, and, and keep keep going. Um, Isabel does deserve our love. And yeah, she needs she just, rescuing. Dude, she made some bad mistakes, and we should never judge someone for no, their mistakes. And she'll it learn was, from them. It wasn't her fault, and it is not the <laughs> first or last time that someone would be seduced by the dark side. By right. Pulled in. Everyone likes a bad boy until you have the bad boy. And, and then you're like, oh, you're I like, see oh, the downside. Oh, shit, now. man. My fucking house and all my friends are dead, <laughs> and now a monk is trying to save me. Like, There's demons all over my House. pentagrams everywhere you know if we can't have love for isabel like wh what are what are we as a culture that's right she Cafe Man she deserves 2D. Our love. ricardo pym and everybody else that may have typed no i think i got all those names what is what is this <laughs> Dude, what is this a little TK? A tk with a hand oh, oh it's like this thinking like that's the philosopher. That's when you guys we need that? Socrates to come in, man, and help oh us out goodness. with that. Oh well, be a mystery. They're playing. They're spending their their channel yeah, points. Socrates is always pointing up, and Aristotle is pointing <laughs> down. Hilarious. Okay, so thank points under chat. Oh, I'll learn that some other. I'll leave so, it to you guys. We we do the show. You do the fun little chat thing that's right man um so we'll see you next time the next show is on friday at 11 a.m same time as today so see you on friday and we are out of here see you next time bye friends bye everyone <laughs>